You're listening to the Console Drones Gamer Talk Podcast with your hosts, Prodigy. I got another fucking three weeks to start carving my bushes into elephants and shit and make it look like Disneyland. Wow, that just got really weird. <laughs> Deuce. Running around with a pink fucking 725. I don't care if you're a girl gamer or what. Stop it. Yeah. Fucking annoying. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Demonic. Tune in next week. Fuck yeah. Fuck you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Hello listeners, gamers, button mashers, teabaggers, noobs, griefers, geeks, grown-ups, and internet. Welcome back to Console Drone's Gamer Talk Podcast. Talking video games right out of northern Arizona. Once again, it's time for another show. This is season number three, number 259. And you're listening to a weekly podcast where we talk about everything and anything but mainly video games. I'm your host, Chris, and today, the full crew is here. All right, let's get into it. It's time for What You Drinking and What Have You Been Playing. Let's start off this week with Joe. What are you drinking and what have you been playing this week, buddy? So, oh, Mad Echo. Anyway, Stop um, wait, why do I have that thing on my screen? Are you seeing that? Okay. What is that? I can't it's see like, your screen, Joe. It's like, it's the... Oh, God damn it! because it's in the wrong fucking spot. What is that? OBS, OBS <laughs> fucked up. Like, my scene didn't what, even transition what is, correctly. What is this? What is it's, it? a, it's a good start. There, I'm going to use my force powers. Joe's to personal it. follows. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, Joe, what are you drinking? Uh, what have you been playing this week, buddy? All right, so uh, this week I'm trying something new. I tried, I saw it, and I was like, I'll try it. It's a Dos Equis ranch water. You said mm-hmm. that wrong as Dusakis. Oh yeah, it's Dos. It's actually Dos Equis. Dos Equis. I like it. Dos, Dos Equis. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, Dos Equis. Um, ranch water, hard seltzer, classic lime. Compared to Topo Chico, I don't like it because it tastes sweet, almost like key lime pie. So it's too sweet. Um, but it doesn't have any agave flavor, so hmm. it's just like a lime meh flavor like a lime soda but i'm gonna drink it because it's gonna get me a buzz so i don't care mm-hmm. <sighs> limey limey flavor as limey. far as what i have been playing uh xbox have been playing no man's sky a lot almost got to the center of the current galaxy that i'm in nice uh pc i have downloaded dark and light and started playing dark and light um kind of liking it so far demonic uh, how much was it, Joe? Was it normal retail price or was it on sale? I'm just curious. I think it was like 15 bucks. Because I don't remember what I paid for it. So, hmm. just curious yeah. what it's going for nowadays. Plus, you get the, the free DLC if you get it through Steam. So, cool. got that. Um, trying to think, is there anything else? Nope. Nope. Okay. Let's move on over to Miguel. What are you drinking? What have you been playing this week, buddy? I'm drinking a Coca-Cola from McDonald's at the moment. And then I have the Joy Bus. Wow. Oh. By Four Peaks. Neat. Nice and backwards, you know? Yeah. There you go. Love that place. Um, as far as what I've been playing, Overwatch, Warzone, Phasmophobia... Ran around in Dying Light 2 for a little bit to try and see if I could remember how that game worked. Um, And I picked up... It's on Game Pass. uh, I started playing Dead by Daylight, and I was having a lot of fun with it. Nice. And I think that's everything for me. Chris, what about you? Um, Drinking the usual, the Tito's with my cranberry raspberry soda water. Um, And let's see, this week, uh, a lot of VR games, so uh, Contractors... Um, of course, going to be playing that for quite a while now. Um, and then uh, Green Hell. Been playing some Green Hell. Uh, just got this survival game. It's a lot of fun, actually. I can't wait until the multiplayer comes out because it is a little creepy being by yourself trying to survive in the wild jungle. But it's pretty fun. Really enjoy that game. I'm streaming that one as well. Um, over, I think I played one more VR game and I can't remember. It'll come back to me later. Miguel? 
Green Hell doesn't have a multiplayer. I, I may be thinking of the wrong game, but I, hasn't that game been out for a while? At least not in VR. Yeah. It, it, there's a multiplayer in Green Hell, the PC version, but in VR right now, they haven't actually updated it, and we're supposed to get a um, multiplayer update soon, I guess. I don't know when, but it's around the corner, You can play Phasmophobia in VR, Chris. You should go do that. Uh, I don't know. See, that, that's the thing, like... Will you guys be able to play it with me in your 2D version? Can I join your game in VR? Or does it have to be like... You're not sure? I assume so, because I can just click VR on my okay, main then, desktop window. Then, yeah, it's the same as... um, What is it? No Man's Sky does the same thing. So, cool. That I mean, I could try it if there's people that I know that would be there with me, because I'm going to freak the hell out. Especially in a scary game like that, but I'll, I mean, I could try it. I'll look at it. I'll look it up and see. Do you know if it's on just Steam or do you? I don't think it's on Oculus. Probably so it's not. Probably a, it's a desktop game with yeah. VR compatibility. So I'll probably have to air link it. Okay. I'll check it out. I'll have to look into that one. Um, over on my Switch, I played some more Stardew Valley, um, and then on my Series X, I just downloaded some shit. I didn't really play much on that, so. That's pretty much me this week. Joe, are you ready for the news? Yes, sir. Deuce's Weekly News, keeping us informed and up to date in the gaming industry. Okay. I was just reading if, if um, Green Hell had, was crossplay. I said at the moment, no. So it'd have to be VR so, only. Yeah. Uh, let's get into it. Source this week is VG twenty four seven. Revamped. Uh, I know we talked about this already, but I'm just kind of like updating. Uh, the revamped PlayStation Plus service launches June thirteenth in the Americas and June twenty second in Europe. Also, uh, it will roll out in the Asian territories May 23rd and in Japan on June 1st. So, um, Cool. Yeah, it'll have this. Sony says it'll have more to share closer to launch, but I'm not going to get into the details on that one. Yeah. Um, Are they going to admit it sucks? Is that what they're going to share? Probably or cancel it last minute. Um, you can now update your DualSense controller for your PS5 using a PC. Oh, that's nice. So, instead of your PS5 console, so... Yeah, yeah. There's a a download that you can down uh, firmware that you can download on your PC and then install it. Yeah. Yep, Windows 10 or Windows 11 in order for it to work. Uh, no more um, Windows ME, folks. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Uh, PlayStation 5 restock. I know a lot of fellow gamers are trying to get a PS5. Um, when and where? So as far as, uh, what was it, two days ago, um, yeah. So right now, all, all consoles, are our bundles are pre, bleh, currently pre-order only to stop scalping. But will be released on the 26th next week. So stock is also um, available um, online. Same thing, on demand. So, yeah, just keep an eye out. Uh, look at Amazon, uh, Walmart. Walmart says 20th of May. Amazon is expected soon. Best Buy, there's no word. Uh, Target says May 19th. Hmm. Uh, and this is all for the physical disc version. The PS5 digital, they're all out. <laughs> oh, wow. So, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. More Sony and shit. Sony and Microsoft said to be working on ad placement for console games. Oh. Sony's working hard. Um, yeah. So they're going to start this in the free-to-play titles. Of course they will. Yeah. Uh, yeah, according to sources speaking with Business Insider, Sony is currently testing an ad tech or excuse me, testing with ad tech partners to help developers insert ads in free-to-play games uh, as a way for studios to monetize titles. Hmm. Okay. Currently, the ads are limited to in-menu, and Sony intends to... There he is. I was waiting for that. 
Uh, currently, the ads are, are limited to in-menu, and Sony intends on putting a um, plan in place uh, by the end of 2022. So the yeah. ads eventually would be inserted into PlayStation games, but they would appear as part of the game, similar to a digital uh, billboard. Mm. Not like, hey, stop playing. Watch the ad. No, it's gonna, they're going to be in the game. So, I, um, am, I, monkey, am okay I wore, I wore my, my monkey shirt for you. So my circus, not my, you spelled monkey wrong. Well, here, let me, let me just put, what's that monkey? There. Black tape. There's a M U N K E Y. Okay. You got monkey uh, shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So it's kind of cool that they're not going to be blasting ads kind of like how Twitch does or how YouTube does or, mm-hmm. you know, Pornhub or any of those other websites. But um, yeah, it'll be nice that the, the ads will be in the game, like as billboards or on buses or anything. And and you said that um, these are stuff that they're advertising like for game for creators for like new games. Is that kind of what they're going to be advertising in? They haven't said the content. Okay. I'm, hom- I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that it would be either like a Microsoft ad yeah. or a Sony ad or, you know, something like that. Yeah. For, I, I don't know. Think- for now, yeah, yeah, but I don't, I don't think that it would be, um, you know, another another gaming company promoting within like yeah, yeah, yeah. Fortnite or whatever. You know what I mean? So, but I, I was kind of like, I'm just hoping it's not like Walmart's coming out and you see like you know a buy one get one deal advertising. But as long as it's game. a billboard in the game, I don't care. I'm sure eventually it will be Walmart and yeah. other stuff. Right. Stop. Amazon, yeah. It might be interesting. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Halo Infinite Season 2 will feature modes such as King of the Hill and Last Spartan Standing. Mm-hmm. I mean, Battle Royal. Anyway. Uh, yeah. If you're still playing it, Halo Infinite Season 2 Lone Wolves, you can expect three modes along with a variance featuring a mix of returning favorites. Something new to Halo. So, King of the Hill. Um, land Grab. So, you know what that is. Zones. Mm -hmm. Uh, Last Spartan Standing, which is based around Lone Wolf's themes of Season 2, and it's a free-for-all experience. Twelve players will spawn on big team battle maps with five respawns and a confined loadout. When you run out of respawns, you can either leave the match without being penalized, or you can spectate if you are killed in the match. Yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're killed in the match, you can upgrade... Uh, to a different weapon similar to how Escalation Slayer works. The match ends when there's just one Spartan left standing. So Both King of the Hill and Last Spartan will be available on day one. Uh, King of the Hill will be inserted into Quick Play and Ranked Arena and will feature um, be featured in its own playlist. So, Sweet. Kicks off May 3rd. Sweet. Uh... Seven Days to Die, Turn Up Boy. Um, Turn Up Boy commits tax evasion, unsold, and more coming to Xbox Game Pass. Also, F1 2021 and Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered are also headed to the cloud. So this is the next round of games coming for Game Pass and, and uh, PC Game Pass in April. Uh, so yeah, F1 2021 and Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, Hot Pursuit Remastered alongside Turn Up Boy Commits Tax Evasion are available now. And that's for cloud, console, and PC, uh, Turn Up Boy. Uh, coming to cloud, console, and PC on April 26th is Seven Days to Die. Somebody's, so, somebody's asking for PAX news? Some some guy named PAX Monkey? news? Why? Oh, well, who went to PAX? Didn't Cheddar go to PAX? Don't you fucking... Oh, wait. You don't live up there, huh? Wait, see how it says Pax, Pax, Pax? Pax News. Yeah. What the fuck you want Pax News for? There is no news from Pax. Pax is just late bullshit. <laughs> it's not E3. <clears throat> Geeks vs. Geeks is at Pax. Yeah, man. Geeks is there. Okay, great. <laughs> That's awesome. We love you, geeks. Yeah, there's like no PAX news. You, <laughs> fucking you, a. you click that unsub, monkey. We don't. You don't have that button. You can click that unfollow. That's fine. You lose your store automatically. I don't have to do anything. 
Go for it. Do it. Mm. Yeah, I mean, we got nothing, we got nothing to unpack. Yeah, there's nothing because there's there's shit that we've already talked about. They talk about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge, uh, how the original uh, voice actors are going to be in it. Big deal. Um, yeah, there's nothing that's like they're all indie titles, so it's like yeah, no. We can talk about Cuphead for a little bit. <laughs> what the, the the TV show Cuphead? I, I'm yeah. There you go. Anyway, there's your PAX news. Um. Yeah, Bug Snacks is coming to cloud console PC April 28th. Uh, again, Seven Days to Die is April 26th, and that's cloud console on PC. Did you say um, Bug Snacks? Bug Snacks. B U G S N A X. I thought that was a PlayStation exclusive game. Yeah. Interesting. And hmm. also a day one release of Unsold. Um, Unsold is kind of inspired by Onimusha 2. Um. Yeah, April 30th, you also get Cricket 19, Outlast 2, Secret Neighbor, and Streets of Rage 4. Hmm. So stay tuned for those. Um, okay, how about yep, go. info on the new Tales from Borderlands? You mean the DLC? Great. Um, it's out. DLC, new boss. It's a shark. Um, play it in game. Why not? I do have no, he's, a, he's a Tales from the Borderlands. Oh, Tales from the Borderlands. No, I don't know. It's not a headline. That'd be it's the Telltale one, right? Uh, Borderlands. Ooh. I do have news. Borderlands uh, booze partner uh, for official Mad Moxie Valentine's whiskey. So Valentine's and Borderlands are collaborating to get a whiskey. And it looks sexy. So... Oh, it's what my list. It's what our listeners want to hear. Okay. So, Borderlands. We'll get to it. Borderlands uh, Moxie's Bar Edition Blended Scotch Whiskey. It's got a cool Moxie bottle. If you want to try it out? Um, I don't have a price on it, but uh, if you can find it, get it, drink it, and yes, whiskey, Scotch whiskey, Valentine's finest. Partnered with Borderlands, and it's a whiskey. So, yeah. Here you go, Glacio. Tales from the Borderlands sequel announced. 2K Games and Gearbox announced plans for sequel of the fan favorite Borderlands entry, Tales from the Borderlands, coming later this year. There you go. Uh, next up, studio helmed by Amy Hennig. Signs a deal with Lucas Games to develop a new Star Wars title. So there is a new Star Wars title in the works, and it's coming. And it said that it's going to be a richly cinematic action adventure, probably similar to uh, Last Jedi. Um, yeah, Skydance New Media, helmed by Uncharted writer and game director Amy Hennig um, and EA vet Julian Beek has announced it. So. Stay tuned for that. Uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands gets its first DLC drop. Like I said, um, it came out yesterday as part of the season pass. It's called Coiled Captors. Starts off in Dreamvale Overlook, where the fortune teller Vesper awaits. Eons ago, an old god was captured and trapped within the body of a mighty sea warg, um, which was then caged inside an icy mountain so here's what to expect so you get a new boss called chums um and you have it's it's a boss that evolves over four forms so every time you fight it it changes forms or every time you defeat it it changes forms and becomes more powerful i was excited to fight sharks right oh i mean i love killing them in this game fuck them i'm not in the water they're on land they're in my realm Uh, yeah new loot to collect including weapons gear and cosmetic items each time you vanquish the boss's increasingly fearsome forms you earn lost souls that lets you spend vesper's wheel of fate spins of this creepy contraption can reward you with legendary weapons gear and other items so there's also a new chaos chamber new chaos chamber content completing coiled captors will also add its respective levels and boss to the pool of possibilities in the Chaos Chamber, 
uh, the endlessly replayable end game of Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. So, ta-da, it's out. Did you finish the campaign yet, Joe? No. Too busy in Dark and Light? No, too busy in No Man's Sky. Oh, I thought it was Dark and Light now. I thought you switched. I thought it was like a two-day bender on one game, and then a two-day bender on another game, and then back to 2K22, and then... <laughs> yeah, no, I'm... Yeah. No, I got so in, in, enthralled into No Man's Sky because I actually have the money now and I have the resources to get to the center of the galaxy. And then I um, I actually went through and read about some of the choices that you do in No Man's Sky and what happens if you do reach the center of the galaxy. And I don't know. At this point, I'm just kind of like, er, <laughs> I'm just kind of like paused. Um on that because spoiler alert, if you do reach the center of the galaxy and you transport or you go through the portal, you end up in another galaxy, but all your shit is damaged and you have to repair it. But you take all of your, your frigates, your freighters, you take everything with you. It's just the plane that you're in and the multi-tool that you have with is all damaged. So you're basically starting over, but it's a brand new universe. So. Let me derail real quick. Derail. Derailing. So Kylie has said they're making grilled cheese listening to us on the podcast. Nice. It, it's Geeks Grilled Cheese. And I know Geeks puts mayo. Have you guys put mayo on grilled cheese for instead of butter when you're doing? I have not. No, I haven't tried that. my wife puts sour cream on her grilled cheese. And I've had it. She also puts um, cream cheese on it as well. So, hmm. I don't know so how to sour, sour, sour cream, cream but... it, sour cream it, put it on the skillet, get it fried, and then put the cheese and then uh, sour cream. Hmm. Gotta try it. Or Kelly cream cheese. She has to try that. Yeah. Monkey, she, <laughs> she does. does what? She does fucking what? <laughs> sour cream right. instead of mayo or butter. Monkey. Sour cream. I, I, I kind of feel the same way. Crazy. Also, what bread are you using? Monkey. Rye. Wonders. <laughs> Sneaky meek. Parmesan cheese, yo, on outside of bread. Yeah. Just, hey. Yeah, get that toast. crispy get that crispy parmesan. Yeah, What's up, parmesan meek? toast. There you go. Welcome in, Sneaky. Yeah. That that would actually be great. I might have well, we're having pizza right. tonight. So before we get too hungry. Yeah. <laughs> angry. Oh, hey. speaking of uh, there she she's is. Here, she's here to hear the judgment from Monkey. Uh-oh. Yeah. So, so we have to watch what we say. Shh, oh. She's here. Crap. <laughs> yeah, uh, Joe, Joe, speaking on that, um, Jackie's like, I want to follow on, and I was like, I'll make you a, an account. And I'm like, mm, never mind. I'm good. We no. don't need to make you an account. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. We don't need two ears. One's enough. No. No. Well, yeah. Well, she no. has two ears, but we just yeah. don't need. We don't need your set of ears. Yeah. No, oh, no, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Right. Yeah, we don't want that. Elia has to have special bread. Well, can you get sourdough for yourself, or would you feel bad? Is that is that the issue? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. To monkey's point, you can you could buy two different loaves. Anyways, uh, Joe. <laughs> Back to Joe. <laughs> Back to news. Back to the news. All right, I, I promise I'll get through this news fairly, fairly fast. Uh, Sega is said to be working on the reboots of Crazy Taxi and Jet Set Radio as part of the Super Games initiative. Mm. I'm excited for this. I love Crazy Taxi. I love the soundtrack Hell yeah. of Crazy yeah. Taxi. That's going to be the kicker. If they can bring it back, but they have to bring, not the original soundtrack, but they ha- well, they could, but they have to oh, bring uh-huh. a killer soundtrack with it. With Jet Set and Crazy Taxi, right? Both. Both, yeah. yeah. You have to. Right. Um, yeah. So also Sega like announced back in November that it had partnered with Microsoft in on its super game development, which uses Microsoft's Azure uh, Azure Cloud, Azure, Azure, whatever. Um, the plan is to produce games where the key focuses are global online community and IP utilization. So they're not going to be uh, locked down on anything so that this would be really cool i'm excited also talking about back in my day uh sonic origins is going to be dashing that's what they're saying 
um, onto consoles and PC in June. So this is a remaster. So it's like 4K. It's not pixelated. It's like sharp graphics. Uh, June 23rd. And it's going to be Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic 3, and Knuckles, and Sonic CD. Hmm. So this is, yeah. Uh, it'll be available. Uh, what? Are they going to have a special Sonic skin for those that pre-order of the uh, shitty version of Sonic from the movie? The one that everyone... Uh... Why would they do got that? No, they said that's going to be in the next Five Nights at Freddy's. So, <laughs> of course, it would be. It would fit. Yeah, uh, you'll be able to pick up the standard compilation digitally for thirty nine ninety nine on PC, PS four, PS five, Switch, Xbox One, Xbox Series X S. A digital deluxe version is also an offer on offer, and will set you back forty five dollars. The Damn. digital deluxe features the game's uh, added difficult missions. Letterbox characters in the main menu, or excuse me, letterbox. There's no comma there. Not my bad. I didn't write this article. Letterbox characters in main menu, um, <laughs> island camera on main menu, character animation and music playback, and exclusive tracks from the Mega Drive titles. Yeah, you mm-hmm. can also, if you fancy the music, which we all like the music, at least I do, uh, you can buy the music separate for three ninety nine. Mm-hmm. So. Okay. Pre order. I think the pre orders are available now. Last but not least, Doomfist and Orisa are getting considerable reworks in Overwatch 2, and changes are coming to two other heroes. So the Overwatch 2 closed PvP beta kicks off next week, and testers will find changes have been made to some of the heroes, and a couple of re- and the couple have received major reworks. These heroes will be are- there. These heroes are Sombra, Bastion, my guy, Doomfist, and Orisa. Yeah, I'm a Bastion main. I don't care. Joe's I'll a, admit it. Joe's a filthy Bastion main. Yes. He picks them on purpose. I only pick him in mystery heroes because I don't get to pick, but Joe well, is all about that point and click adventure. He likes to troll. Yeah. Yeah. We, we can all ask uh, Monkey and, and Demonic and also Captain Willie OG uh, how my. Um, my May main is. Oh, you're a fucking <laughs> asshole. That's how your May main is. <laughs> Kylia said she's pre ordering now for. There we go. Last nice. topic. But okay. I, I fucking hate when you play main because you're an asshole. <laughs> I'm on your team, Joe. Don't block me from going out the fucking door. I'm just having fun with my friends. Fucking troll. <laughs> That's it. Just a little fun. Um, so, <laughs> for starters. <laughs> Sombra's cooldown on her hacking abilities has been reduced to eight seconds. She will also now be able to view targets through walls that she can hack for either herself or her teammates. She will also be able to hack while using stealth. Fuck. Good. Her ultimate. What? Stacking, hacking while in stealth, even though that's going to be annoying as hell. Yeah. I hate going out of stealth when I'm Sombra. Uh, her ultimate will now deal damage of up to 40% of an opponent's health, and her passive will dole out 50% more damage to hacked targets. Hmm. So That's she hacked Sombra. them and does 40% damage? Holy. Yeah. Nerf! Yeah. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy Jeff, I'm gonna need you to fix this really right. quick. <clears throat> uh, with Bastion you'll find that the robot no longer has the ability to self-repair. Fuck. (laughs) (laughs) Just nerfed your main. A a reconfiguration to Bastion will see a transformation between two primary combat modes. Uh, Now has 8 second duration and a 10 second cooldown. Weapon fire rate has been reduced by 50%. The weapon spread has been reduced to 0. He can now move when firing, but movement is slowed during this time. His weapon will now have unlimited ammo, but the damage has been reduced by 40%. Hmm. The robot can now use a grenade that can bounce off walls and stick to enemies and floors. And he can manually target three different locations to strike anywhere on the map. Oh man, next week's going to be fucking weird. Weird. (laughs) So basically, so, you got to learn all those new mechanics now. You got to go back. It's kind of like a reset in a way when yeah. you play, right? So, I mean, it's not the first time. They've done massive reworks to the characters. Yeah. Arisa, or not Arisa, Symmetra. Um, 
Mercy. They've done reworks, but usually they're not a shit ton of reworks at the same time, plus a new character. Granted, it's for the new game. Um, so, yeah, it'll be weird. Yeah. Arisa I mean, won't have a shield. Yeah. I know Joe's getting to that. He hasn't gotten to it yet, but what yeah. Arisa? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, Arisa has had uh, her protective barrier halt and supercharger abilities removed. Hmm. Cut. Whole new character. Cut it out. Um, Fortify now gains 125 temporary health and is slowed by 25% when active and reduces heat generated by firing by 50% while active. Augmented Fusion Driver now fires large projectiles, which start large and shrink down. And it uses a heat mechanic instead of an ammo reload. She can now use a new ability called Energy Javelin, which when used can stun an enemy and knock them back. And it's more effective if an enemy hits the wall. She also has a new ability called Javelin Spin which can destroy projectiles, push back enemies, um, and increase forward speed. Her new ultimate, Terra Surge, allows her to sweep in enemies and anchor down, gaining the effect of Fortify and charging up a surge of damage. You use primary fire to release the surge early. Yeah. So. Um, last one is Doomfist. Tank! As for, what? It's a tank! He's a tank. tank. As for Doomfist, his change is the most notable because he will switch from being a damage hero to a tank and will tank. lose his uppercut ability. His health has now increased to 450. He can now use Power Block, which allows him to protect himself from frontal attacks and further... Or, wait. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Protect himself from frontal attacks, and when blocking heavy damage, it empowers Rocket Punch, which will travel faster and further and increases damage. Another major change has been made to his Seismic Slam ability, which now launches him in a similar vein to Winston's Leap. And on landing, it deals damage and slows enemies. His ultimate Meteor Strike allows a slow to all enemies hit. Outer damage has been reduced to 100. What is it? Why did they do it like that? Outer damage has been reduced to 100 minus 15. Um, and activation time has been reduced to 0.5 seconds. That's probably 100%. Yeah, I don't know why. They, fucking writers. Uh, Overwatch 2 again, closed PvP beta will go live on PC April 26 and will include 5v5, the new hero Soyorn, four new maps, the new push mode, and a new ping system. Hmm. So yeah. Yep. The 5v5 will be interesting because I was watching IGN, they got to play the alpha of it. Yeah. And the person that reviewed it said that there's only one tank and it makes it feel really weird. <sighs> Weird. Weird. Hmm. I don't know why you're acting so weird. What is acting so weird? Yeah. That's it. Wow. Very cool. Can I add something to the news? It's more for VR for contractors. <sighs> yeah, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, I get it. No one really plays <laughs> VR contractors oh, just here. Around. But for for our listen for our listeners out there, um, if you're listening, uh Contractors is coming out in six days with a zombie mode, so it's getting closer and closer to like Call of Duty every single day. It's pretty cool. So there is a new zombie mode coming on the twenty eighth of April, which is pretty neat. Survival zombie. So good stuff. I put a trailer up on our Facebook if you want to check it out. So sweet. Yeah. What happened to our news guy left? I think what that's pretty much end with the news, anyways. Miguel. Are you Damn ready for the kids. dates? Yep, time for me to be my money back. washed yeah. out by my screen, guys. Don't mind my uh, my paleness that's about to happen. Ah. Demonic States, keeping us on track with what video games are coming out soon. Yeah. 
Games coming out this week. Today, actually not today, today's 22nd. 26th, Army of the Dead 4, Death War, Dead War, on the Switch. Blah, 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 on the Switch. <sighs> More beer. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, PlayStations, Xboxes, and the Switch on the 27th. Vampire the Masquerade Blood Hunt, PlayStation 5 on the 27th. Bug Snacks, as Joe said, is coming to Xboxes and Switch on the 28th. Um, Rogue Legacy 2, Xboxes, the 28th. Rogue Lords, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Switch on the 28th. Sherlock Holmes, Chapter 1, PS4 on the 28th. And Unsold on Xboxes and Switch on the 28th. And that's what's coming out this week. Kylea says Stanley Parable is old. It is old, but it is coming to consoles. It's the Ultra Deluxe, so a special edition. It's coming to consoles. So. Cool. All right, well, it's time for our What the Fucks. Do you guys have any What the Fucks this week? Yes. And now it's time for our What the Fucks for the week. What the fuck? Joey? <sighs> okay. Usa. What did I do? Usa. Usa. No, you didn't do anything. Usa. All right. Strap yourselves in for this one. This one's going to be a little bit fun. Should I, me, should, I, should I go grab my flip flops for anything? Nope. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Not yet. All right. I'm going to put things a little bit into perspective. Okay. Like the Golden Girls. Imagine this. February 1st. 2015, Glendale, Arizona, right? Mm -hmm. Seahawks are on the one-yard line. Oh, no. Marshawn Lynch is ready to run the ball in. Mm -hmm. They throw it. Mm -hmm. It gets picked off, mm -hmm. right? Who fucking wins the Super Bowl? Patriots. Right. Okay. February 5th, 2017, Houston, Texas, right? Falcons. Had the game. Mm -hmm. Blew it. Just blew it. Who won? Patriots. Patriots. Okay. Football team. <sighs> February 3rd, 2019. Atlanta, Georgia. I guess there was some kind of football game at a Maroon 5 concert. <laughs> Rams. <laughs> Choked. Done. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. This one still hurts. February 7th, 2021, Tampa Bay, Florida, okay? The Mighty Chiefs, no O-line. Mahomes running for his life. They can only score three points during the Super Bowl. Who won? Tampa. Goat Tom Brady. Tom. Tom Brady. Good old okay. Tom. Goat Tom. With all of that in perspective, <laughs> I would rather... Rewatch every single one of these Super Bowls, then fucking watch that goddamn boring Batman movie. Oh, I fucking watched it. It sucked balls. It was horrible. Fucking horrible. Would you rather say that uh, Tom Brady's a goat? No. <laughs> I would just no, say so it. I would rather rewatch not... the fucking Super Bowls. Where he won, then rewatch the Batman or any next coming Batman movies. So it's not that bad, but it's pretty bad if he's going to watch those. So it's it's pretty bad. It's still not as bad as George Clooney as Batman, but it's it's just a tick above it. Okay, just a hair, yeah, hmm. a hair. Um, I would rather watch Batfleck be Batman. Then Chris, then this fucking Robert Pattinson. The whole movie sucked ass. The entire movie. With the exception of Colin Farrell's makeup. That's what impressed me the most about the whole movie. I still wa was watching it. And I'm like, how the fuck is that Colin Farrell? They did an amazing job on the makeup. They should win something for his makeup alone. Movie? Fuck the movie. 
unimpressionable, boring. Uh, felt like I was watching a Saw movie, but without the gore, you know, the whole detective aspect of it. Um, and then at the end, it was like, oh, yeah, that's right. It's You throw in Twilight. Thank you, Cheddar. Um, yeah. How can Batman change his personality so many fucking times in one movie? He's like, I'm vengeance. Oh, but I'm hope. Wait, no. I'm good. Like, no, don't do that. No, you can't do this. Oh, you know, he's trying to stop Selena Kyle and doing so many things. And like the morality switches how he does that in the movie. It's just fucking stupid. I didn't get it. I didn't like it. Um, I'm trying, I took notes and yeah, this, this is pretty bad. With, what do I hate about this movie? <laughs> well, I also I have what I did, it? what the, the, the minor <laughs> things that I did like about it. Um, the Bruce Wayne persona doesn't even exist. And I get that it's like an origins, origin, origin story. Sorry. I get that. But it's your fucking Bruce Wayne. It's just like, he's just some emo bitch. That's it. He's just, I'll give no. You, I'll give you that. The Bruce Wayne persona does not really exist. There's no consequences for the attack. Spoiler, the attack on Bruce. There, right. Nothing happens. It's like, yeah. oh, it happened, but... It has no relevance to anything so going funny. forward. Right. Uh, let's see. What else do I have? Uh, let's see. I'm just trying to get through all the shitty parts. Why the fuck is everybody whispering in the movie? It wasn't, where is she? No making you happy. You're mad about where is she? And you're mad about speaking in a normal tone. For fuck's sake, Joe. What? I never said I was upset about where is she? It's just funny because I'm making fun of it. Um Yeah, it's just to me, it's like it was dark, it was gritty, and it was a broke ass Batman. Like the Batman was broke. It was like like a bum. Almost, in a sense. It was just, like, broken down. And, yeah. Mm. The Ripper character, in my opinion, he sucked ass. It's just a dude with a fucking latex or a poncho on, a poncho mask and some glasses. I don't get it. He's just, he's like, there's nothing special about him. Yeah, he's smart, but if you have enough time to plan these things out, yeah, you can be really smart. So, eh. I just didn't, he didn't have that persona of the Riddler, you know, and it's like, they're breaking it down and they're trying to start from fresh and from scratch. And it's like, they call him the penguin, but he doesn't look like a penguin. I don't get it. You know, it's like, I don't know. They deconstructed the Batman. It's the whole thing is deconstructed. I don't like it. Don't like it. Uh, and the award for this year's cheapest Halloween costume goes to the Riddler. Um, cause I can just see people just dressing up in fucking green rain suits and putting on a green latex mask. Could have well, called him just the fucking, the gimp. He could have just been the gimp, the green gimp instead of the well, Riddler. I, I get it for this movie. He was still trying to be anonymous. Nobody knew who he was. So I yeah. get the mask. Yes, I agree. It looked like shit and I didn't care for it, but I, I get why he didn't look like the traditional Riddler. Um, the damn Batmobile. It was just a broke down Hellcat with some stupid ass jet engine on the back. That's all it was. <laughs> That's all it was. Um, also, the Batman theme music. It, I I watched the movie. I avid Star Wars fan. You can see background. I like Star Wars. Uh, the Batman theme, whenever he was on screen, was a complete ripoff of the Imperial March from Star Wars. It's just missing a few notes. It's it sucks. I'm like, why would you do that? Why would you rip it off? Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess we can get to the good things. Okay. Um, as said, critics were saying that this is the first Batman movie where it's not Batman trying so hard to be Bruce Wayne. It's Bruce Wayne trying to be Batman. I can see that because they focus more on the moral picture of bruce and his you know him and him not being like this spoiled cocky you know douchebag mm -hmm. i see that um 
I didn't see some critics were saying that there were like woke wokeness in the movie. I didn't see it at all. I didn't see it at all. There may have been a few comments, but I didn't see it. It's and probably I, I, Selena's relationship. Right. At the beginning. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I mean, I, I mean, I feel like anything nowadays, anything minor, people point at it and say, it's too woke. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So those are only really the good things I saw. I, like I said, I, I did enjoy the dark, the darkness, the grittiness of it. Kind of like um, the noir-esque of it. I didn't care for a lot of things in the movie. I didn't like the movie. Um, we know that. And yeah, uh, there was a part in the movie. I guess I'm going to spoil it, but what? even even Sessie brought it up. At the end of the movie, when, when Batman meets up with Selina Kyle and they do like their Fast and Furious split on the roads, um, he sneaks up on her, right? Because she's doing something and she turns around like, oh my God, why'd you sneak up on me? The next scene, it shows them like standing outside and his motorcycle is right behind him. And it's this loud fucking brrr, motorcycle. It's like, how the fuck did he sneak up on you? How was his motorcycle still there? Like, if he's riding his motorcycle in, wouldn't you hear it? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. And at my final thing, at this point, the only way I will ever watch another Batman movie, Batman movie, if it's Batman Beyond Story, directed by Tim Burton, with Michael Keaton as Bruce Wayne. That's it. Very specific. It. it has to be that. All right. Well, I, I will. I will take that statement, and I will bet you that you will watch another Batman movie that doesn't have all of that. Nope. I will not. Nope. I bet you you will. A live action Batman. I will watch animated Batman all day, every day, whatever. Live action Batman. Fuck it. I saw the deleted scenes with the Joker. Fuck it. You fucked up the Joker. You made him a monster. Your pros sound a lot like cons. You said you had pros, and, and you're talking about the motorcycle that creeped up on you, right? That was a pro. Well, no, I said the pros was like the personality, the conflict with oh, gotcha. them developing Bruce Wayne, and not just him being I'm Batman. Right, right. That was it, huh? I don't know, and That's it's not because computer. everybody says, "Oh, it's because you're so used to like these these superhero movies where Batman's like I'm Batman," and it's just like. Yeah, but there's something about those Batmen that, like, they exude this persona. Mm. Where, this one is just like, I'm emo. Whoa. I'm vengeance. Mm -hmm. I'm an angry emo kid with a bat suit. Mm -hmm. And that's it. It's just like, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I fucking don't care. If this is going to be a start of the series, count me out. The Joker, I didn't like. I did. I saw him. How did they ruin the Joker? They, they 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 mutilated him. I mean, the Heath Ledger Joker, even though his face was mutilated, it was like cool. Like it had a purpose. This Joker, he he looked like the fucking um uh the fucking sloth from the Goonies. <laughs> his the back of his head is all like oh, bubbled, shit. like he had been burned in acid and. Yeah, hmm. it's just I, I, I don't like it. I don't like the direction. I don't like. I can't. Are, I can't. Are you unfamiliar with the Joker who had his rip face ripped off and stapled back on? Right, but in the TV show, in Gotham TV show, they actually showed it and it looked legit. Yeah, I remember. It that. didn't look like he was like a fucking like mutilated face and just because his teeth are showing and it's in a smile and he can go <laughs> it doesn't make him the joker <laughs> it doesn't fucking make him the joker oh, that's so, so no uh i will give kudos to the costume design for the batman as far as having it to where like this part of his uh face is open mm -hmm. to where he's not like you know, doing one of these, he can like kind of turn his head a little bit. I mean, he still has to kind of, you know, do that shit, but <sighs> no, I'm done. Hmm? 
I will not I'm... watch Robert Pattinson as Batman. He's too emo for me. Fuck that. I will not see the next one or any of them after that until they reboot the series again. I'll fucking... No, no next, not even then. Next, I'll go watch fucking Justice League. That's my next thing. That movie was so bad, it makes me want to go watch the Justice League all the way through. The, the Snyder Cut. Because I'd rather watch Batfleck as Batman than Robert Pattinson as Batman. And aren't you watching a different Batman that you just said you were never going to watch another one? Oh my god. Got him. A new one. <laughs> Okay, you want to be a new one to you. You want to have a, a new technicality. One to I saw Justice League the first time. I'm re- I'm watching a remastered version. Snyder mm. cut. It's like, oh, no. I played Resident Evil two. Well, that game sucks. I'm never gonna play Resident Evil two again. Oh wait, Resident Evil two remastered is coming out. No. Uh, from here on. Any new Batman movies, I will not be watching. Unless it's Michael Keaton as Bruce Wayne, Batman Beyond Story, Toby McGinnis, whoever you hire as him, and move forward. Like, this, at this point, the Batman is the dead horse. And it's been beaten. It's done, in my opinion. It's done. Stay tuned for five years from now from for when Joe watches a new Batman movie that isn't what he said it's going to be, but he still watches it. Nope. Yeah. That sucks. Sorry, you wasted Again. your life. Yeah, I don't. I can't get that two hours and 58, 56 minutes back. And even my wife, Ceci, was like, what the fuck? Yeah. It was, she tuned out. It was just like, eh. That's shit. Yeah, she just said, remaster disaster. So, hmm. I, I gave her credit. It's not as bad. To... It, it's not as bad as Batman and Robin. Yeah. George Clooney. Well, you know, ooh, I got Batman suit with the nipples. And <laughs> Mr. Freeze, oh, chill out. Oh. Chill out. <laughs> it was, you know, it's not that bad. Yeah, and says so she says she doesn't get that time back. We don't get that time back. Yeah, nah. that sucks. You'll live. Yeah. That is my one and only what the fuck for this past week. Okay. Miguel, you got a what the fuck this week, buddy? Uh... No, other no. than I think I got, other than I think I got Joe hooked on uh, Dark and Light. I nice. uh, I kind of talked him into getting it, and I wasn't even fully sure I was going to play it again. But I like hyped it up for him, and he went and fucking bought it. And now I'm like, oh, I gotta go play Dark and Light. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That's fine. I have it too, so I'll play it. It's downloaded. Sure. It, it, it definitely does remind me a lot of Valheim. But it looks cleaner and crisper it is. than Valheim. It is. Um, yeah. Like now, I don't know. I, I kind of don't like Valheim. I like Dark and Light better than Valheim. I don't it's know. very it's just... arky also. Yes. It's very arky. Definitely. Not arc. as, you know, as spawn and arc. die, but. Arc. Survival evolved arc. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Excuse yeah. me. Cool. Chris. Um, how are you? I, I do have uh, what the fuck. It's just more of like car shit that's been going on, and I've been talking about it forever. I still don't have my car. I'm driving a fucking stupid ass clown eco car right now to work. And, you know, we already know who fucked me over with my vehicle before it was Hyundai, right? Well, I had a fucking semi truck on my ass this week driving home. I drive 30 miles on the 40 all the way home back to Williams. And I'm being tailed by this motherfucker with his brights on. And I get over in the slow lane. He gets over in the slow lane. I get over in the fast lane. He gets over in the fast lane. He's fucking trolling me with his semi truck. And then I finally get his, his, he finally gets off my ass and he passes me. And guess what kind of truck it is? Just, it's a, a Hyundai. It's a fucking Hyundai truck. It's a Hyundai semi truck. Just, God damn it. Leave me alone. I fucking hate Hyundai. So yeah, I don't have my car yet. It's just it's fucking annoying. Um, and then my wife's car's transmission went out. We're still waiting for fucking parts on that. We're supposed to get it tomorrow, but now they're talking about oh, there's a delay. We got to drive it thirty miles before we give it to her. Some all this weird shit. So it's just I'm sick of it. I want our fucking cars back. I'm sick and tired of driving random fucking vehicles for the last few months, and it's just getting on my nerves. So. Yeah, those are my what the fucks. And then, you know, you got the whole Cardinals drama that finally fucking ended, thank God. So, we're good. 
My QB is... I didn't hear about that. Tell me, <clears throat> please. God damn it. I didn't hear about it either, but I don't want to hear about it, Joe. <laughs> no, no, I want to know more. No, it's just our, our our GM and everybody said we're not trading Kyler. And Kyler's staying, and Kyler is wanting to stay. So it's not going to happen. So I'm 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 glad that, you know, we're not being stupid. Until they go and draft a quarterback in the draft. <laughs> it's not going to happen, dude. It won't fucking happen. So... <laughs> But yeah, those are my what the fucks. I don't have anything else this week. Um, Kylie says parts are a nightmare right now. Yeah. Does she? Joe. Kylie works for auto repair stuff. I'm sure. Maybe. I don't know. No, I don't think so. But yeah, it is a nightmare for anything. Probably electronical yeah, well, parts, car parts, everything parts. Well, yeah, because they're sitting out on a container ship out the San Pedro dock, just sitting there. Yeah. Waiting. Mm hmm. Kylie oh, yeah, does, does work in auto. Yeah, Boom. there it is. Can you fix uh, Prodigy's shit shitty for, car? For, no. Deuce your face. What? Uh, anyway. That's how he always looks. You should know. <laughs> I know. You married this face. Deuce. Is this not the face <laughs> I mean, that he actually, makes? I mean, the face does, he only, like, does, does, he only, like, does he only make this face for us? I think it was when he was going, hop, 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 do whatever he was doing. Doing some yes, Kylia fixes cars. I didn't know that. Awesome. That's Auto awesome. body. Oh, that's cool. Damn. Badass. Um, what were you going to say, Joe? Hand raised? So, okay. I'm not reversing my statement. I'm adding to my statement. Okay. Mm. Are we back there, on Batman? There one? was. Yes. There's one other. But are, I are doubt you going to... Oh, shut up. Listen to me. <laughs> I doubt they'll make it. But there is one other Batman story that I might watch. Wow. If hey, you can't go it, back it, on it now. Miguel, no, I'm Miguel. adding to it. Shut up. It's already, it's already <laughs> written. It's Miguel's... already stamped. Signed, Fuck delivered. <laughs> you, Shut up. He's still going to call you out on it, it Joe. <laughs> and that's the Red Rain story. If they ever make a movie, a Red Rain movie, I will watch it. Those of you that don't know, Red Rain comic book. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Yeah, thanks, monkey. Um, Red Rain was Batman fighting Dracula and Batman in the end actually getting bit by Dracula and becoming a vampire. Talk about badass Batman, literally Batman. That would be the only other one. Batman Man Beyond Bat? or Red Rain. That's Bat? it. What about Man Bat? I'm just kidding. No, not Man Bat. Man Bat was cool in the animated show, in the animated series. Yeah, but Red Rain. If you can find it, comics, I have it. If you can find it, read it. It's awesome. Bat Hey, so my fa my favorite part of the Batman was when he jumped off the roof and he had that shitty uh, squirrel suit instead of using his cape. I mm -hmm. thought that was fucking great. That was oh, my least the, favorite part. The flying suit where he yeah. just like puts it on and it goes. And then he crashed for no reason. Yeah. 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 Anyways. Oh, I got one more. What the fuck? It just came to me. Um, Saturday morning, I'm going to be playing game two um, on Contractors. And I found out what time I have to play. It's going to be at six in the morning because we're playing a Korean team. So Six in the morning. Yeah. It's like. Are you, are you going to make it on time? I mean, you I were will. late today for six in the evening. So. Yeah, yeah. No, I'll make it for sure. I'm going to have my alarm. I'm going to get up like an hour early and shit and warm we up. We see where you're priorities are chris right now my my priorities do lie a little bit more towards that just because i'm trying to like get into the zone and you know it's a it's a 12 12 week season i'm trying to get some wins joe uh just for your information yeah um to say get good in korean is jo ajida jo, jo a ajida jo ajida jo ajida that means get oh. good okay Joe is let me see. Let me see if I got that right. Joe likes to wear flip flops. Did I say that right? It's summertime. Joe wears flip flops. Yeah, I, I think I, I think I said it right. Joe yeah. Ajita. Uh, I don't, I'm probably not going to talk any smack when I play. I'm going to be quiet. I'm I'm going to have my speech chat off. I'm only going to be talking in comms with my team, and that's it. So we'll see. It'll be interesting. I played the guy. I've played those guys before. They're called Cat Alpha, and I will be streaming it at six in the morning. Go back and check it out. I know no one's going to be up. Maybe some people, but well, that'll be what eight o'clock monkeys time. Yeah, it'll be eight monkeys time. So some people might be up, but I will have it streaming just for the fact that um, they actually encourage anybody that plays on there to stream it because there are sometimes where people may cheat and if we get it on record we can talk to the judges and they can be like oh we shot you through a wall because there's some players that actually know some of the glitches in certain maps that can actually do that kind of shit so they encourage that kind of stuff so 
it's not all the time that they catch a cheater, but it has happened before. So, and I play in the VRAL League. It's Virtual Reality Esports League. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Wouldn't that be VRELs? VRAL. V V Wrestle. Virtual Reality Esports League. Esport. V R E L. Virtual Reality Esport League. Oh, esports is one word now. Okay. Yeah, it's one word now. It's it's a thing. Okay. <laughs> I think I do think V Wrestle sounds better though. V Wrestle. I'm part of V Wrestle. <laughs> you want to yeah. V Wrestle? Yeah. Make you squeal like a piggy. Oh man. So yeah, those are all my what the fucks this week. <laughs> it's gonna be a nice and bright morning tomorrow. So, get you some coffee and don't shit your pants. Yeah, for sure. Or do for the content. I mean, or or play a match on the toilet. Yeah, no, no, that's not gonna These happen. Characters like all squatted down. <laughs> you you like, actually around the map. They How would actually squatting? they would catch me for cheating. You have to ha- play in your play space and have to have the right like um, height and everything adjusted. How is that cheating? Um, because they have you have to adjust your height. If you were sitting down, you have to adjust your height to the height that you're sitting down at for it to be so that your character is standing up. Because sometimes you can adjust your height and your character will crouch really small, but you can still run just as fast as you're standing up. So you're like running around like what's his name on Goldeneye back in the day? The short dude. Can't remember his fucking name now. Odd job. So there you go. Yeah. I was gonna say oh, yeah. tattoo, but that's the other guy. No, his name's Odd Job. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, they have all that shit. It's fun, good it's stuff. Playing. Do you guys have any rando shit this week? Anything you want to talk about? I uh, I played Dead by Daylight, and that was interesting. And I so I was just looking for something different, new to play, and I fucking loaded it on my Xbox, and I was just playing as the killer for the first day, and I had fun. So then I uh, conned Monkey and. Mm-hmm. Uh, Butters and John into getting it, and I try to get Joe to get it because it's on Game Pass. It's free, mm. and that shit. The multiplayer is for as long as this game's been out. Getting in a group with friends is, or at least for us, was a pain in the ass. Mm-hmm. I was streaming, and it was just a chatting stream because we couldn't get in the same fucking lobby, and we couldn't launch into a game. So that was kind of annoying, but. It's different. It's simple. It's pretty fun. I know Joe said he's watched enough of it in other streams that he has no interest in playing. Thank you, Google Bagel. It is super repetitive, but eh, I have fun with it. So, if you want to play uh, Dead by Daylight with us, feel free to reach out. I had the most fun listening to Cheddar freak out. Oh, no, not Cheddar. Sorry. Butters. I had the most fun listening to Butters Butters was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listening to him that was freak funny. out was like the best part of the whole, like, watching them play. Because he was like, oh my god, they're on the, oh my god, oh my god. You know, just wa- listening to him freak out was the best part. <laughs> and then watching that... watching Demonic uh, play as Nemesis. <laughs> and they're like, well, what's the villain? What's the villain? Oh, it's, oh. um. Yeah, you say Butter- Butters is like, you're Ghostface, aren't you? Ghostface. You're, you're Ghostface. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm definitely Ghostface. Not anyone else. I'm definitely Ghostface. Why are right. there zombies on the map? I don't know. I'm definitely Ghostface. Yeah, he comes around a corner, and then there's... I'm watching Demonic Stream, and his uh, butters, he's like, Oh, shit! You know? <laughs> <laughs> he sees this big nemesis, and he's, like, running away. <laughs> That's great. Oh, definitely Ghostface. Well, the thing is, so... Ghostface ability, like, there's a proximity and it makes sounds when the killer is near you. Mm -hmm. Ghostface ability gets rid of that. So that's why they're like, oh, you're Ghostface. We're not going to know when you're nearby. And so by the fact that there was, uh, I'm sure, noise when I was hunting them, they should have known I was not Ghostface. But, yep, turn the corner and there's a big-ass nemesis standing in front of you. So good luck. (laughs) Run away. Yeah. Right away. Right away. <laughs> exactly. Definitely. Butters, you have a fan induce with your uh playstyle of horror games apparently. He likes your reactions. Yeah. That's I mean that's a lot of times why you watch streams. Absolutely. To get people's reaction. Mm-hmm. For sure. You know. So yeah, it was really fun. I'm not gonna yep. play it still, but no. Good work, Cheddar. Yeah. And then I also played Butters. Butters. Wrong wrong person. My bad. Good work, too. 
Same milk group. Yeah. But different <laughs> different well, processes. Actually, actually yeah, butter is like right. oil and fat. Yeah, yeah you're and right. Cheddar, yeah, that's cheese, My bad, butters. So, uh, dairy. <laughs> how, how dare you call butters oil and fat? Son of a bitch. What's well, what butter <laughs> is? No, that's funny. Um also played Phasmophobia with Monkey, and that was fun. That asshole made me look in a door I didn't want to look in and scared the shit out of me. That was good. Um, but, yeah, that was gifted to me by Charmichi, so thank you, Charmichi. Sweet. And I enjoyed it. I'm kind of all over the place. I feel like Joe right now. I'm, I'm going to play this today. I'm going to play this tomorrow. Fuck this game. I love this game. Where are my flip-flops? I mean, it's Join good. A club. It's good for the stream, though. I mean, you're you're getting. It's not the same game over and over like I'm doing with contractors. So that's good. Come to the dark side. We have flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> flip flops and, 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 and to piss to piss people off even more. We'll wear the flip flops with socks. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Yeah. It's the worst wear socks ever. with your flip flops. It's the worst. Yeah. I hate when they so, fucking do so that. So if anyone would like to send Joe a pair of Sony <laughs> flip flops, he will rock those on the regular. With socks. With socks and look like a dad. <laughs> I got well, I have cargo shorts, but I don't have khaki cargo shorts. So but I'll still rock it. Nikki makes that ju- or just wear crocs. There you go. I have me. crocs. I- I'm sorry, but but Crocs now just make me think of Deadpool. Where right. are my Crocs? They're not bad. Just you have to wear Crocs and socks Crocs because bad. if you wear bare, barefoot and Crocs, it's just a oh. problem. And it smell, it reminds, you know, it, it reminds me nasty. of the jellies from the 80s. Oh my God. And they smell like, ooh, fucking I remember, hell. oh, so I knew so many girls that would wear jellies oh. with those socks. Yeah. Like, Ugh. Gross. Yeah, we can all uh, get matching we're... pairs. Hell yeah, we so will. So I think that'll be something that we got to develop and put on our store for merchandise is <laughs> console drones flip flops. <laughs> we should. That's a good idea, Joe. Oh damn, damn! Man, That's... she oh. made it public before she let you know. Oh <laughs> damn! Shit. This is this is breaking news, people. <laughs> My <laughs> wife <laughs> said that uh, if I wear socks with uh, with flip flops, uh, she'll ask for a divorce. So... <laughs> J- this just in. <laughs> wow. Hmm. I have my Xbox uh, socks. I wonder if I wore Xbox socks with PlayStation flip flops. I mean, it would make sense. You should do uh, it right? for your character. We can all get yeah. ma- so we can all get matching pairs of flip flops. The thing is, I don't tend to flip flop that often, if at all, compared to summertime. Uh, I do. Oh, I, 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 I mean, wear flip flops. Yeah, sure. But I'm talking about flipping and flopping like a douche drone does. Floppy drone. Yeah. <laughs> monkey monkey knows a good divorce lawyer he told us. <laughs> <laughs> oh solid monkey that was great nailed it oh shit uh joe's like why did i create that account <laughs> no no i like it i love it it's perfect bring it oh man um any other rando chat anything for us to talk about that you want us <clears throat> to talk about throw it on out there um, we'll try to not be biased. Joe, um, I didn't. I haven't seen uh yesterday's episode of Halo, but last week's episode Uh-oh. of Halo, like, can we see Master Chief like without like the human skin? Can we just put the suit back on? I know this week he's supposed to have the suit back on, but I didn't see it this week. Last week. I don't care to see the dude's ass. He's showing too much skin. I was just going to say it. Like, I don't care. Like, <laughs> fucking fight. Oh, uh, oh, my God. Teabag somebody, but I don't need to see your ass. I don't care. <laughs> like, put the suit on. And, like, the episodes where he's flying and he doesn't have his helmet on, Fuck. the whole episode, I'm like, put your fucking helmet on. Put your fucking helmet on. Put your oh, but fucking helmet on. But weren't you saying it was okay that they were showing his face and yeah. everything? Well, he's flipping I get now. the re- initial reaction that, yes. I see his face. I see him. Good. Put that's it back on. That's enough. That's it. Put Done. your pants on, Master Chief. Fuck. Put your pants on. Put your helmet on. Fucking. Let's go to war. Let's Fucking go to war, a. baby. Sounds yeah. like Joe's starting to hate it. Starting to no, flip. I don't flop. hate it. I just hate the fact like it's. Just, I know they're trying to build the character, but it's like at what point are, are you going to draw the line where it's just like okay, I get it, and 
I'm actually a fan of Cortana. They introduced Cortana last last week. Um, I'm a fan. I know she's not all blue like in the game, but they did use the original voice actor, actress, for Cortana. So I'm okay with it. Um, and the way that she interacts, it's almost like she's not just in his head or in his, his helmet, but like he's walking around and she pops up right next to him. And he's like, whoa, wait, what are you doing? Like, uh, go away, like disappear, you know? And it, there's some comedy to it because he's trying to get used to her. But I like the Cortana element. I think Cortana at this point is kind of saving the show. Kind of like how Mando saved Boba Fett. So, go. So here's the rabbit hole. Uh, Sneaky Meek said, first, is Halo any good? And then, what was better, Halo or Book of Boba Fett? So, have fun in that rabbit hole. Go ahead, Joe. Oh, God! Uh, Start off with the first one. Uh, is Halo good? Okay, is Halo good? Yeah. Until you have it's... to stare at Master Chief's ass, apparently. <laughs> Right. Yeah. I mean that and you, you, you can't help but see uh what's his name? Um Pablo uh Schreiber as the asshole guard in Orange is the New Black. You can't help but see him. Every time you see him, you think of this pervy asshole security guard mm-hmm. from Orange is the New Black. Um Yeah, so there was this I don't want to spoil it, but he's got this chip in him. It's a personality chip. It's where it numbs his emotion or emotional chip. Where it numbs his emotion. Joe, where's that chip? Because you said he has this chip in him. Yeah, and and it's in his lower back. It's like right above like so his his ass and it's like Uh, right above his ass at the base of his spine. That whole motion. Cortana has to tell him. Cortana's like, move your knife up 1.3 millimeters and, and make it a in vertical incision and you should feel something hard and there's the chip. And it's just like, oh, whoa. Something like, hard, come bro. on. Like, What's going on? Where's the fighting? I want the plasma grenades. I want the shooting, explosions, covenant, dead, grunts. Run away! I want, you know, I want that shit. Um. <laughs> so I think to sum that up, he says Halo is good. Yeah. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. It's it's a different it's a different take on Master Chief. It's a different take on the Halo series. If you read the books, if you played the games, if you played the games, don't go into it thinking, oh, it's going to be just like the. It's not. If you've read the books, there's some uh, aspects of the books that are true mm-hmm. and that that they held in this in this in the um, in the show. But I think it's got it's got a build. And they're trying to develop Master Chief and they're trying to make him seem more human than mm-hmm. just I am Master Chief. You know, I'm going to kick your ass. I'm going to kill you. Whatever. Um, what's better? Halo or Book of Boba? Book of Boba. I'm going to just say it. Okay. Book of Boba wins. And that's that's the, the, the encompassing thing. Not just because Mando's in it. Just not because they showed Grogu and Luke and Ahsoka. Spoiler alert. I was going to say, by Book of Boba, he means... The whole thing. No, that's the whole thing. Because everybody was questioning, like, well, what happened to Boba Fett? Like, Boba Fett's still alive. What happened? And they explained to it. He's back. He's alive. He's cool. We get it. But I think Book of Boba, hands down, is better than um, Halo. Ooh. And, I mean, Cheddar said it's got to build, so they're, they're building that. You know, exactly. Halo's just starting off right now, so they got to build that what they're what they're making here. So it could get better as it goes on. No, I from what I'm hearing this past week's episode, I've seen clips on Facebook, and they're showing yeah. him go toe to toe with a brute. Right, and it's just like, oh, okay, back to the action. How many episodes are left? I don't know. Because, like I said before, I'm not paying for Paramount Plus, so I'll do. I'll wait, and then I'll binge it on my free trial. That's what I'm going to do, too, Miguel. Okay. I don't need to watch Halo. You guys know I don't give a shit about Halo. You hate Halo. Yeah, you... Yeah. Just say it. He doesn't hate... I don't think he hates it. I I don't give a shit about Halo. You hate it. No. I don't hate it. I'll play multiplayer with friends, but the story I don't give a shit about. He doesn't care. Yeah. Right. Or like Sessie said, if you want, come over, we'll have Halo Night and we can stare at Master Chief's ass 
together. Uh, sounds no, fun. I'd rather not. I'll pass on that. <laughs> now that I know that it's just yeah, fifty percent Master Chief's ass. I'll uh, Master Chief's ass. In the comfort of my Bro, own. It's like it's there. like two minutes of the entire episode of the entire season that you see. His but ass. I mean, as much as you've talked about it, it feels like it's fifty percent of the. But I mean, yeah. it's just a shock it's factor. You're the like, chip do in his I butt. have to see this? <laughs> like, where's the importance of this? You know, it's like, come on. Uh, no, I get it. it. But it was okay in Game of Thrones. Yeah, incest, brother, sister, fucking, why not? Yeah. So it's okay there. You just don't want to see Master Chief. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's it's a different universe. It's a different universe. Like, oh, did we really need like Captain America? Oh, that's Captain America's ass. <laughs> like, we don't need that comment. I know it wasn't in the. What was it in the movie? I, I don't know. We don't need that. Yeah, I agree but with yeah, Ceci. We that's need, America's ass. We need boobies. That's America's we ass. Yeah, I mean, whatever. What isn't Joe bitching about, Monkey? You should monkey, why don't you fucking pay attention and and like he's, attend and he's lurking tune in, in <laughs> Miss G's stream probably. We yeah, Miss G's. We we should know Joe, and we this is why we love him because he's got a strong opinion on everything, so it's great. Yeah, Joe. Yep. But anyway, are you um, talking about Joe? Yes. Sneaky Meek uh, said Mando had to be in Boba to finish our thinking of what happened, so the next series can start in a different direction. I agree. I am excited to see the next Mando series, uh, which should be at the end of this year. But yeah. uh, we are all anticipating. Hello there, mm-hmm. Mr. C three PO, possibly. Hey. Smack the fuck out yourself, will you? Hello there. Is that what you're referencing, or what? Go, go, sit in a corner. Sorry, Miguel. Please help General me. General Kenobi. Kenobi. General Kenobi. It's oh. fucking Obi Wan. Hello Sorry. there. My bad. Kenobi. I forget. Anyway, Tito's. Yeah. Cheers. Tito. Oh, blame it on the Tito's. I am. Right. I'm going to. <laughs> blame it on the Tito's. Anyways, you're talking about Joe has strong opinions. Yeah. Through the witches of Sam. Um, yes, he has strong opinions, but from week to week, they can be uh, completely polar opposites. So, I'm a Gemini. That's... I have twins, so there's like a mm-hmm. two face. Like there's the good side and the bad side. One week you'll get the shit Joe, and then the other side you'll get the angel Joe. I, you know, I like Xbox flip flops, and then there's the PlayStation flip flops. Right. I'm the... conflicted. Okay. Just I'm conflicted. I'm bi. I don't know. I'm not bipolar, but my opinions are bipolar. How's that? He's got bipolar opinions. Right. Yeah, I like it. I got bi opinions. <laughs> oh man. Not in that sense either. That sounds. That sounds. <laughs> Joe. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Cheddar's like fuck. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. But yeah, it's a uh, uh, yeah. Uh, that's what we were talking about. Halo. Uh, Moon Knight. I'm liking Moon Knight. Um, I think Moon Knight's a success, even though it's only only going to be one season. They've mm. confirmed it. Um, yeah, excited for what? How many weeks away? Two weeks away from Doctor Strange. Two weeks from today. Well, technically yesterday. So yes, yeah, thirteen days, from- ten o'clock at night. We'll be in the theater watching. Right, Joe. Right, confirmed. Yes. Cinema one, we'll be watching. You, you just have to be worried because of the whole conversation of like I had to call them and make sure it's set, and then and so I'm like, "Well, fuck! Does you didn't set it up on the internet? So do you really? Is it good? I have the email. I have the confirmation. I've got the seats. It's Cinema one in the Cinema one theater. It's not like the fucking No Way Home where it was said, "Oh, it's Cinema one, but it's in theater sixteen. Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah, we whatever. screwed up. That's not Cinema One. Oh, I can give you free popcorn. It's like, bitch, that's not going to give me Cinema One seats. It's going to give me popcorn. I, but popcorn, in their defense, is like fucking $15 now, so shit. Well, to them, it probably costs 75 cents to make the popcorn, but they upsell it like fucking crazy. But whatever. It's not your birthday yet. No. You can't cancel them, Sessie. No. You didn't cancel the tickets because I paid for them and I have the email. You did not cancel those tickets. You cancel them, then we're gonna we're gonna ask Monkey, Monkey about that, that Monkey. lawyer. Monkey, <laughs> that lawyer give me that number of that lawyer. 
if I can cancel the tickets. As you're putting on your socks and flip flops at the same time, you're talking. Right. I'm gonna go watch Doctor Strange with Xbox socks and PlayStation <laughs> flip flops. Shit, socks and Crocs, baby. Might might give me some might give me some DC socks, and I'll wear some Deadpool flip flops. How's that? Or Deadpool Crocs? I like how Monkey hears his name and he pops in like, He's what? like what with no context to what we were talking about. <laughs> what came out of nowhere? <laughs> Mm. And his name was Bad Monkey. Yeah, it's Monkey. Looks like Joe's going to be Han Solo for, for a while. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. You guys got any other rando shit this week? We've been all over the place. Um, this is great. That's the point of rando shit. Exactly. Uh, to Joe's point of Moon Knight, yeah, I'm enjoying the hell out of Moon Knight. Um, it was a very weird ending to the last episode. Yeah. Uh, I'm I, I'm I'm in for it. Joe's getting ready for his hand solo. <laughs> hand solo. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen that TikTok where the guy's like the hand is like the shadow of the hand is talking, and he's like, "Oh, you found a girlfriend, huh? Oh. You haven't talked to me in so long." Blah blah blah. I've seen that. I yeah. made the comment on that TikTok saying, yeah, and then the guy got married, and then he got back with the hand. Just saying. Just saying. No pun intended. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, jeez. Holy crap. Joe's side of TikTok is an odd one. Yes, I am on the dark talk. And yeah. that's that's funny because my wife has her studio and she's promoting her studio and she now has TikTok. Um, and I told her, I said, do not like or share any of those. Like, stay away from that place. Stay away from that place. I'm telling her. Don't like, don't like or share anything that Deuce sends you on TikTok. Well, mm-hmm. that's debatable. <laughs> no, I, I'm not sending her shit. I'm not sending her shit. If it's oh, like, oh, God's hey, gore. watch this on my phone. Watch this on my phone. God score. How dare you? I know it's in the rules, but how dare you? Hey, guys, hey. Battlefield, the older ones are better than COD. Um, can you be sp- more specific on what COD you're talking about, please? All of them. No, you can fuck right off so there, but Battlefield hey, Vietnam. We, remember, we, we did this hey, old no, YouTube video where we said Battlefield 4 was better than Modern Warfare. Remember that? You guys said it was better. I did not say it was better. No, I did. Yeah. Also, I did. Me too. Yeah, that's what I said. You guys said it was better. Right. I did not. Ah. Um. Never been a fan of COD. So all. Oh God. So he's oh, like God. Battlefield. But the stories in the Modern Warfare franchise are so good. You have to go for the stories in the Modern Warfare franchise. So good. So is the multiplayer. Fuck off, Joe. You know you like the multiplayer in Modern Warfare. Um. Also, you can't throw in the statement of the older ones because. That includes Hardline and Bad Battlefield Company. One. Battlefield One, Two, all right, all right. Vietnam. What, what, Vietnam. What's was the cutoff for old Battlefield? Yeah, where's that? Where's that line at? You're right, Miguel. Where's where are you drawing the line in the sand? Hmm. Oh huh, yeah, because uh, there, there's a definitely a line, and it's right after four. <laughs> no, because I like the the newer Battlefield. Older cards are okay. <sighs> like no, I, like. Okay. Old school battlefields were sick. 1942. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you're yeah. talking old, old battlefields. Not like I don't know about that. I'm not oh. going to get behind that statement. Like 1942, like it was re- revolutionary because it was like, oh my God, everybody's on the screen. There's yeah. tanks. And back, there's in the day, and all... back in the day, it was legit. Yeah. Yeah. But is that better than Modern Warfare? I don't know if I would no. revisit it right now. Nope. Because I don't, I don't go and play it on my, what is it? Um, Actually, it was only on the 360 that 1942 was on there. Never mind. I wouldn't fire that up and play it anyway. So, so Kylia said up to Modern Warfare 3, World at War were okay. So, I'm a fan of the Infinity Ward ones. So, the Modern Warfares. Yeah. Um, don't the Black Ops stories are good. I don't like their multiplayer. Um, World at War didn't care for because that was like the first one where they went back mm-hmm. in time to older warfare. But Modern Warfare series, in my unhumble opinion are better of all of them i mean we talked we've talked about this battlefield yeah. is a different kind of gameplay you it 
you're desiring a different kind of gameplay than if you jump into a Call of Duty lobby. Agreed. I mean, you're shooting <sighs> down hallways versus vehicles and open map for Battlefield. So it's, I gr- I get it. You know, but as far as multiplayer mm-hmm. and how I feel they play, I feel like Infinity Ward specifically multiplayers are better polished and feel smoother than Battlefield does. And that goes for Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, Battlefield, all of them. It's the open map for me, really, I think. Yeah, I I, I get it. I agree. I enjoy Battlefield games, um, but I have to be in the mood for a Battlefield game. I can always jump into a Call of Duty game and just run around on solo and fucking kill everybody or die 50,000 times. Joe! Black Ops 3 was the only Black Ops game that I enjoyed. Thoroughly. From a multiplayer perspective or from all of it? Story? All of it. I just enjoyed it because I enjoyed the characters. I enjoyed the customization. I enjoyed Black Ops 3. Um, any of the other ones can go <laughs> suck a duck, honestly. Um, the Modern Warfare's, I agree with, with Demonic on that because, yeah. Yeah, Infinity Wards were good. But, but, Battlefield 4, to me, still holds the crown. And I, I kind of feel that way, too. But I feel like there was more of, like, there was more to do as far as, like, vehicles, open maps, weapons, everything with like Battlefield 4. Like, the environment? 4. Like, Battlefield yeah, 4, everything. where, like, the yeah. dam busted and it yeah. flooded the map. And, like, yeah, there was more shit happening but on then, top of, right. fuck, I don't want to get killed. And then there, you know, there's all of that. Right. And then you've got Call of Duty where, you know, you're talking Infinity where There was a lot more multiplayer aspects to it. Skins, all that kind of stuff that they throw at you. All the fun stuff that Infinity Ward does. And they do it great. You know what I mean? I, I kind of feel like they have that element and then Call of, or Battlefield has the other element of environment, so to speak. You know, I feel like Call of Duty has definitely nailed the multiplayer aspect of skins all the point system the way it feels the mechanics everything like that i feel like call of duty does nail it a little bit better yeah and, and to 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 my wife's defense in chat she actually played modern warfare to the point where she was like kicking she was that guy's booty she, she beat in, me. in modern warfare she that did good being prodigy for audio listeners she she was actually kicking his booty she was doing in good. multiplayer, and it was like, oh my god, like she can play Modern Warfare, but she hasn't played since. So, Kalia, I completely agree. I feel that Infinity Ward is the strongest studio. Yeah, in the Agreed. COD rotation. Agree. Yes, I completely. Uh, yeah. Confirm. Can agree. confirm. I think that's anonymous. Um. Kalia played some Black Ops and didn't like it. I like the story in Black Ops. Don't care for the multiplayer. And I'm not a Zombies fan. I'll play it for a little bit, but it's never really kept my attention. Mm. Uh, couldn't get into Battlefield at all. Uh, let's see. Um, this score said a bit yeah, off from those for... two. What about Planet Side 2? That's I played for you guys because yeah. I have not. I played Planet Side 2 on the PlayStation 2. Three. 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 Four. I think it was on four, dude. I think it, was, I think it, was on four. it was on PlayStation Four. I remember it now. And I like I like Planet Side when it first came out. I played the very first Planet Side on the PC back in the day when it was like, holy shit, this is a big fucking battle. They've got like these uh like was I think it was like a six or seven man ship that you can get into. There was all kinds of badass vehicles. It was really cool sci fi. And it was just something that we haven't ever seen in a shooter slash like MMO style of game. And then they right, did... kind of like Defiance. It, it, it was going there. It was going in that Defiance route. Defiance or Defiance twenty forty two. I feel like Defiance. <laughs> no, I get it. I get it, Joe. Fuck you. <laughs> little, We're not the same. Little bit of dig there. I like it. I like it. But no, Planet Side two was pretty badass. I mean, it definitely evolved in Planet Side two, and then it went to the consoles, and then I kind of fell off after that. But Planet Side was a really cool game, and it was something innovative when they first came out with it, in my opinion. So. Yeah, thank you. There's a Defiance Did you, player right there. Did you right like there. Defiance the show or the game? I like I them mean, both. Fuck we, you guys. <laughs> we had fun in the game for a while. Yes. We Brandon, had fun making fun mis- of the glitches. 
Well, yeah, yeah we but were. we had fun playing. We played we played hours worth of that game. It's yes. not like we played it for two minutes and quit. We yeah. put time into it. We, we had fun. Yes, I have pictures still on my phone of my character missing his head. Yeah, I remember that. But, yeah. <laughs> but it was fun. Yes. So Kylia yes. like both. Kylia is awesome. And Kylia is the... awesome. Sorry. The game and the series. I yeah, like me the series. Too. I like the series. The series is awesome. great. But, uh, I just wish there was a little more integration between the two. I'm yeah, so like they said, it was gonna be like you know, if the TV show did something, the game would change, and it really never really fell through with what they were talking about. What? I actually just moved my Defiance Collector's Edition to another room last weekend. So, are you still? If you're still playing, are you playing the OG Defiance, or are you playing 2042? The one what that's it? better. Or it's not 2042, is it? 2050. Yeah. 2050. 2050. <clears throat> more crossing. Yeah, that would have been fantastic. It would have been really cool. Have more crossing. But, I mean, we did play the heck out of it when it came out for a little while. and then it Yes, just, we did. Kind of like Destiny. It just We got to a point where it was like, there's nothing else to do. We got to the grind. Coming out. We like, yeah. yeah, end game, and it was like... Mm. Yeah, I, I just wish... I think that Defiance was at that time. Monkey's going to hate me for this. He's probably going to cuss me out. But I think at that time, Defiance was better than Borderlands because it was that loot shooter. Yeah. But it was on an MMO scale where Borderlands has never been on that scale. Yeah, it's been super light. It's been like, it's not as big, but it was still. I feel like Borderlands was way more polished. I feel like Borderlands has way better loot, better weapons, right? Just better aesthetic, everything, the better feel of the game. And if it's they would have yeah, yeah, if they would have went to an MMO style, they would have destroyed Defiance. If they would have went that with that style of play, you know what I oh, mean? Oh God, yeah, It'd I think that's amazing. probably what's next for Borderlands after Tiny Tina's would be yeah. a Borderlands MMO, absolutely. And I think that that would absolutely smash. Everything yeah, out of the for water. sure. Yeah, and I didn't play the 2050. Um, Kelly has said I'm not playing anymore, but I prefer the OG. I, I know Chris tried it, and then he messaged us and said, this is the same exact game. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was a little, yeah. I was like, fuck this, I'm done. This isn't a sequel, this is the same fucking game. The same shit. Let's not bomb. call it remastered, let's call it 2050. 2050. So, I have, yeah. It was a He's still mad about it, see that? You see that? He's still mad about it. I wanted it to be better. I was a Defiance fan at heart. I love the TV show. I mean, I really love the TV show. My wife and I, we fucking watched the shit of that. We got mad that it got canceled. Some of the storylines of the characters were like, fuck, I want to know more about them. And it's yeah. gone. It's just fucking gone. That's, so That's how I felt about Firefly. And yeah, it's another one, too. I like that shit, too. And I was just, what the that, fuck? Yeah. That Stocko got canceled. Goddamn right? Stocko, dude. Yeah. But uh, another side note, Prodigy. Yeah, you need to go download download Dead by Daylight, and I will spend money just to torment you, Joe. If I get Chris to get that game, and I get the Ring Girl, will you go play that game for that? No, I'll watch the stream. Watch me freak I'll watch out. The stream for his for his reaction. Yeah, I'm not gonna play it. <laughs> I wish I'd I... rather play Phasmophobia than go play Dead by Daylight. I feel like I feel like now it's got to be in VR for me to react a little bit more realistically now that I'm a VR gamer. You know what I mean? I feel like that should be in VR. It would scare me a hell of a lot more. Sure. It's a third person game. You're not getting it in VR. Monkey, yeah, I, I just said I know, I'd rather play Phasmophobia than Dead by Daylight. Why does that make me a pussy? Because I don't like fucking 4v1. I, I don't I don't know. It's not like and they don't have the characters that I like. If they get the Xenomorph in Dead by Daylight, then I'll play it. Those of you that don't know, it's the alien xenomorph. Yeah, but, yeah, because <clears throat> that's the one like horror thing that truly scares me. Yeah, it's more sci-fi. Would I'll you... play Overwatch with you. I'm not playing Dead by Daylight. Oh, you heard it here. Joe's gonna play Overwatch with us. That's a that's a bigger win in my book. So I have been. This is I, true. I, I, mean, not, I know you haven't been but recently, not, not but recently. you guys bitch because I I do May main and I close off like 
doorways well, and shit. You're like, you we, we don't give a shit if you play me. <laughs> don't block off the fucking doors. He's doing that to make you upset. No, I, I he know he he wants us to not let him play with us. <laughs> I'm gonna block him so I don't have to play this game anymore. Fuck you guys. They're gonna kick me, and I'm like, thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh man. I mean, I, I think I do have butters. John and I have butters pretty addicted to Overwatch. So. Yeah. Overwatch 2 is coming, Joe. Yeah. That has the story, too, have a right? Story? Yeah, it has a story. If it, it has a story, I that's my original gripe. You can rewind it. I said Overwatch would be a great game if it had a fucking story and I didn't have to log on to YouTube to watch the story for all the characters or have a campaign mode. And you could re-listen to that in episode 157. Just Was kidding. it 157? No, I just, I lied. I don't fucking know. Probably like episode said. 15. <laughs> With the really did, bad audio. I'm just kidding. It was probably on our Battlefield Call of Duty comparison video back uh, YouTube. forever and a half ago. Oh, that's when we were talking about Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I mean, Black Flag. I mean, back... <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> that was so horrible, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. I remember that. That was awesome. It was awesome. That was when society was cool. You can't do that now. You know, so that, uh, was, that was a funny thing. Oh, go ahead. Can, can, you, go. I was just, can you just give the background on that real yeah, quick? Yeah, please, really fast. You got it. So we tried to do, like, the whole intent behind the console drones, like, the idea was to do, like, a show, kind of like a G4 kind of spinoff, but wanted to do, like, a Top Gear, because I was a huge fan of Top Gear, and I liked the three guys talking about cars, so we're three guys, we're going to talk about games. Um, so... We had a YouTube video that we released. I think it's still on our YouTube channel. It is. You can go back and watch it. Don't go back. Don't watch it. Don't do it. Long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. (laughs) Um, But we, yeah, we tried to do this TV show, like a show, and we had Demonic. I was hosting. Demonic was going against Prodigy to talk about Call of Duty and uh, Battlefield, the differences. But we also talked about Assassin's Creed Black Flag. And... It came out as a blooper, it was a tongue slip, and somebody said black fag, and it was just like, oops, and we could not stop laughing. Like, it was like, literally, every time we, we had to retake, we had like, cut, retake, cut, retake, because we would we would just sit there and die laughing because it was stuck in our heads, so. Yeah. Yeah. And, and granted, this was like back in the day where we weren't used to talking as much. We weren't used to being in front of the camera. This was like early, early days of when we started. Yeah. So. And and the funny thing I was going to add to what uh, before uh, Demonic was talking was I'm now playing like actually enjoying No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky came out when we started yes. the podcast in 2016. Yo, Joe was so excited for No Man's Sky, and then it came out, and he was so disappointed. He was in no Man's so Sky. angry. 2016. It's 2022 now. That's how long that, that No Man's Sky has been out, and that's how many times I've said, yes, I like it, no, I hate it. Yes, I like it, no, I hate it. It's been it. the whole show. It's been the whole <laughs> whole time. It's been great. Yeah. So <clears throat> No Man's Sky has been with us since the beginning, and I'm and loving jo- it. Now. And Joe has been flipping, flopping since the beginning as well. Actually, no, Joe... I- Fuck you, Chris. I still, I still have a poster that's signed by the developer that we got. I still that's have right. One. Yeah, I have it in my hallway. Yep, I, I have st- it in my hallway I right outside my door. Too. Yep, yep. Because it we, says to Joe. Uh, we used to go to expos like every year, GameStop expos together, and get more information on games. Go see developers. Go talk and do their workshops and do all kinds of stuff. And you know, try to just get more information out in the world. And that we used to do that like yep. every single year before. Like this is like way pre-covid shit before you decided to have kids yeah before i started you're right you're right joe (laughs) before i fucked it all up (laughs) yeah you fucked it up literally (laughs) i'm surprised you didn't destroy that poster oh shit yeah i'm surprised you're like fuck this game yeah no Mm -mm. nope but it's crazy i mean it's crazy how no Man's Sky has matured and us as well. I mean, like we've matured and changed. <gasps> We're still not. I mean, you're yes right. And no. You know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm talking more of like the way we sound on a podcast, our intros, right. outros, the way we exit. It's not as so newbie and shitty looking like we're we're, and now demonic's like a stream he's killing it on streams right now like we're i'm talking that maturity maybe not our personality wise we're still the same fucking people for sure 
but stop hyping me up, Chris. My stream is shit. It's okay. I like what you're doing. I like right. I like your stuff that you're doing, Miguel. Like in the chat, Kylie is like, eh, did you though? Like, yeah. Did no. you? I like that. No. No, not really. We're just we have better equipment to yes, record us to exactly. capture our well, yeah. immaturity. I mean, you break one thing <laughs> and you gotta buy a whole new setup, right, Chris? Yeah, right, I demonic? did. I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had to, right? I mean, my the arm broke. I had to replace everything. I even got a new right. desk. new mic, new soundboard, new arm. Yeah, he's waiting for something else to break so he can get a new laptop. Like, yep. He's gonna be like Jackie. It hey, broke. I I have to. It's for the podcast. I I gotta get a new laptop. I gotta get a new computer. I got. Yeah. I I, I need a new PC. I, I'm really enjoying mouse and keyboard again. And I just can't run what I want to run. I got a 1070, so I'm I'm six years out of the loop now. Um, yep. No Man's Sky, pff, Star Citizen is where it's at. Just kidding. I actually really like Starbase a lot. Huge learning curve, though. Starbase, any familiarity? Um, I not Starbase. I've been wanting to play Star I, Citizen forever. I have too. Yeah. I have a I have a friend at work that plays Star Citizen, and he's like addicted. Tech um, hmm. huh? Ryan. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, um, that's all he plays. Hmm. And I've been interested in it because it's like the one game that's been in development for like what fourteen years it's been now. Forever. I don't know. Yeah, it's been it's been in development forever. Um, as far as those like space simulation ones go, I don't know. It's like for me, No Man's Sky because it's easy to play. It's easy to pick up. I can like. Get home from work, pick it up, play. Yeah. Um, Elite Dangerous is my simulation go-to. And that's just, Agreed. I like Elite Dangerous because it's, I have the joystick and it's super like simulated. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it takes like a half an hour just to learn how to fly the fucking ship. And when you right. stop playing and you don't know how to fly anymore, you literally have to go back and go to the tutorial and learn how to fucking fly again because it's so complex. Yeah. Oh, you mean like playing The Witcher? <laughs> that that can get there, but it's. I feel like this is like way over the top complex when you're flying. You know, it's it's pretty it's pretty gnarly. But Citi I mean, Star yeah. Citizen to me is crazy because they have like that ongoing economy. There's people like spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on legit like virtual items in their fucking giant ass ship they have and everything. It's giant it's, wars. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty gnarly. It looks super fun. I just I don't know about my time scale as far as like really getting putting some time into that game. You know. Yeah. Um side note, speaking of about spending time in that game, did you yeah. guys see the new uh World of Warcraft um expansion that's coming out? Nope. Never got into WoW. What's the I don't know if I've seen that. Dragons. Like like mounts, dragons, or fighting dragons. I don't know. It's fucking dragons. Okay, uh, that's the story. And I guess they're adding a new race. It's like a draconid or something like that, okay. where you're like half dragon. And yeah, it's about dragons. Hmm. So okay, dragon flights. So mounts is what got scores. Well, the the trailer shows like dragons like. Uh, saving, I guess I don't know if they're like they're stone guardians. I don't know. I'm not into WoW. Yeah, but yeah, I just saw the trailer for it and I was like, huh. I have never gotten into WoW, and I don't know. You know what? If they if they were to say right now that it, if WoW was going to come out and they're going to release it to the consoles on the Xbox, they've actually confirmed they've and confirmed they said they will no. never release WoW okay. to console. Okay, then that they. I don't think I'd get back into it. Only if they were to do that, I probably would jump right back into it if it's on my Xbox. Because I've got other MMOs that I want to play on the PC than WoW. So, Oh, God. You guys might have just uh, sent Kylia down a dark path. Literally browsing the Warcraft store for a new pet while you're, while you're talking. Uh-oh. World of Warcraft, Dragonflight. There's dragon-human hybrid people and a modified kind of flight. Hmm. Okay. I just right. I I Kylia. I know um, she said that Deuce. You say that about never going to console, but Microsoft owns them now. Yes, but not yet. I, technically, not yet. 
uh, hasn't gone through. Um, but I did read an article where they were saying that once it goes through, there is no plan as of today. There is no plan to bring World of Warcraft to the console. Now, knowing, you know, the almighty Phil Spencer. Phil will do it. If he sees that there's value in it, he's going to be like, hell yes, we're Dude. bringing WoW to console. Then <laughs> then heaven almighty and Phil Spencer, may he be blessed and, oh, you know, angels sing when, they, when we say his name. Then yeah, they'll bring WoW to the console. I'll tell and you. Then, cheers. I'll tell you right now. I see a lot of value in that because I used to be a WoW gamer, and I used to. I remember how to get the setup. I used to have, you know, um, I can't remember what I used to use to chat with people besides the game chat. We had some other IRC or some shit, um, and we would sit down and we would fucking play WoW on the PC. But I mean, I had to get all my setup, and you know, I didn't have a gaming laptop. It was a PC, so it was this whole thing that you have to do. But could you imagine just sitting down on your couch, loading up your Xbox, and just fucking playing WoW with your friends, like? on the couch just chilling that's a lot of value i think and i think a lot of wow gamers out there would enjoy that as well so <laughs> keep going joe <laughs> dude it's like i don't know it's like fucking drinking bud light i'm not i don't even have half a buzz right now i was gonna say is it better now that you've and i've gone I mean, through just... four like seriously i've got two left i bought a six a little six pack and it's like i'm not even like it's, a, it's nothing huh Nothing. I'm not doing this shit again. This Dos Equus. I'm not drinking Dos Equus anymore. Never mind, Sassy has them. They're sitting next to him. What are they? Dos Equus. No, no she said, water. where are they? Oh, yeah. They were <laughs> he like, has them. They're on his lap. He's been... He's been... Yeah, do, you need a sh- do you need a shot of tequila with that, she said? Yeah, shit. I might. Oh, here comes the drink lady. She's coming in soon with a tequila shot. Right. <laughs> Uh, not against Gus, it, but yeah. go ahead. No, Gus Gore said not against it, but for me, the keyboard is the best way to control your character in game. Right, but Xbox yeah. has. There, I was just going to say keyboard go ahead, mouse support. Yep. So, so you could just plug it right into your console and sit on your couch and just kick back, chill. But I mean, oh, a lot Jesus. of people like that the tab targeting and and not having to, to use a controller. Stupid. I get it. Oh, here we go. What were you drinking? Whatever that shit is, ranch water. I'm gonna step it up a notch. There we go. It's fantastic. You're gonna take a trip down to Flavor Town. Yeah, buddy. Do I need to get another drink then? Are we uh, gonna end this show off with a bang? Oops. Oops, I overfilled it. Oops. I'll wait for Demond to get back. I'm gonna get a refill. You're making me thirsty. Mm. And so yeah, this week, what else am I drinking? Uh Tres uh Tres Agaves organic tequila. This is the Raspado one. Ooh, it's not the white one. Normally I get the Blanco, but this is this is the good shit. Uh, actually good for a recipe for cooking chicken, tequila lime chicken. Use this. Oh, yeah. It's a hit. But, uh, yes, you yeah. can drink, Sess. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Wait, I was going to say. You might want to bring anyway. the bottle to her. Yeah. Cheers, Guts Gore. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for everybody that's tuning in currently. Yeah. Heck yeah. Um, Cheers. No, this is a great podcast. We like we like the interaction. We've been doing this since, like we said before, since 2016, and this is probably the first time that we've had this many people participating in the stream. Normally, it's you know our good old our good old boy Monkey, Monkey Risky, and yeah. Risky, which we're missing this week. Um, well, to be Glacia fair, usually popped in. To be fair, Glacia was here. Uh, to be fair, we haven't been doing this on twitch for that long yeah so. it's true right no yes to be fair to be fair you're right i, I what, do, what do you think it's like two years now that we've been doing it straight on twitch two or three like six months six months on i i thought it was longer than yeah that. we haven't been no we haven't been that long on twitch okay well it felt like that long just because we've been doing this shit forever <laughs> but fucking hey it's friday i'm getting fucked up Anyway. Okay, I'm going to get a refill. You keep talking. I'll be right back. You keep talking. Let's just sit here awkwardly while Chris is gone. And dead, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. Anyway. Uh, yeah, chat. Thank you. I uh, can't thank you enough. Gut score. Um, I know we know who you are. Um, personally. 
uh yeah thanks uh kylia um i know who else was me, on there let me let me get this all um i'm trying to think who else who else who else who else, who else? cheddar was on for a little bit monkeys obviously here lurking somewhere uh sneaky meat 23 thanks as well <clears throat> and i know uh i guess geeks is in sneaky meek 23 yeah sneaky meek 23 um yeah we'll just go ahead and, and shout out everybody that's that was that was in the chat so thank you to everyone everyone i can't i can't do the gary uh what is it gary oldman uh, no, who I missed the, monkey. Let me know who I missed in the professional. When you were like, "Who do we get?" He's all everyone. Oh, speaking of Gary Oldman, who was in the professional with Natalie Portman as a child, has anybody seen the Thor? Uh, new trailer. Just heads up, Joe. There's clips going on in the corner right now, so or, that's fine. Or we're playing clips. No, it's just monkey and. Well, no, I'm doing for, I'm doing shout out, so it does a clip. Gotcha, gotcha. Right, that's cool. But yes, uh, Love and Thunder. Anybody seen the trailer? Yes, yes, I have. Yes, no, dude. Uh, have you I... seen the pictures of how swole Natalie Portman is? I'm sorry, but I have like. Oh no! I you just I, like I've been crushes. seeing them like, for like, like six Kate months Beckinsale now. And then Natalie Portman. <laughs> Joe's oh like, yeah, she's moved up there, huh? Oh, who Natalie Portman? Yeah, she's always been up there. Jesus, hey, you're talking I about. Know she was, yeah. I didn't know she was Kate Beckinsale tier. Oh, top tier, bud. Top shelf. When she got swole, is that an upgrade for you? Yeah. Just the upgraded Natalie. Hell yeah. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> See the way she the way she handles Mjolnir. I was like, oh shit. Like, oh shit. Two right it's there. Twenty twenty two. All those uh, Star Wars. Actors are back, right? Hayden, well, Hayden Christensen is back as the Lord Vader. Um, the Lord, the Lord, Vader. the Lord. Yeah, Vader. there's only the one Lord, and it's the Lord Vader. Hello, McFly. but Natalie Portman, like with that rebuilt Mjolnir. God dang, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. You know, um. I'm excited. Hey. Marvel Marvel is getting ready to like give a one two say Boom. fuck you DC like ba bam they don't oh. have to. DC's ba universe is fucked. Yeah. Agreed, man. Yeah. Joe, why you look so angry in your clip? Oh, you don't look angry anymore. Wait. <laughs> Awkward for oh, 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 monkey just shouted you out. Somebody clipped that on your channel. It was a very awkward long fart, and you looked angry, and then it happened, and you got all smiley. <laughs> yeah, that's the long fart that I have—the huge fart sound clip. Anyway, yeah, um, I'm excited for Love and Thunder. I cannot wait, Miguel. Is it the same Jane Foster, or is she from a different universe? Do we care? I'm just asking for theories. Shit, I don't care. I'm just ass trying to get your. No, thought I'm, no, I'm just saying. Thought. It's like it's Jane Foster as Thor. I don't care. I don't fucking care. <laughs> she could be You're... from the wacky universe. I don't care. Lick She's your lips. Back. Your wife said, "Lick your lips." There you go. No, yeah, smelling the huge fart. The lick fart. Your lips. Yep. Yeah, get the taste. But uh, but yeah, I. She could be from a different universe. I know from I, the Marvel comics that she has, like, there's people saying, well, the comic books, she has breast cancer. So I don't know if it's the same Jane Foster from the previous universe. I don't know that. Mm -hmm. um, we still love Gamora, even though the Gamora that we all fell in love with is gone. The new Gamora is is in place, but I also did see the Guardians 3 teaser, which is a strictly teaser. Um, and even in Love and Thunder, you did not see Gamora in the background. You saw Groot, you saw Rocket, you saw uh, Drax, um, you what saw um, she Nebula, and you saw uh, Mantis. 
you know, like that whole funny clip with Chris, like with um, Star Lord and Thor, where he's like, you know, you want to stare at those that you love the most, and uh, but you know, Chris Pratt's well, no. like looking like this, and then Chris Hemsworth's like, <laughs> like what now? <laughs> you didn't see it, fucking monkey. Oh yeah, lick the lips. But uh, yeah, Gamora is gone. She she took off. So, right. Yeah. Hopefully, she took off. Marvel, please hear my prayers. Um, Here we go. Gamora took Gamora took off to go get the Infinity Gauntlet to get the stones to create the 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 fusion characters. Huh? Oh my god. So how? They, comic books okay, they don't exist the, okay listen to me in the comics right in the comics gamora ends up with the infinity gauntlet and the stones and she creates a fusion universe where spider-man has the moon knight armor you have ghost rider and and black panther you have you know, all of these fusion characters and this happens in the comics. So if Marvel is listening, even if you make it a Disney plus show, I don't care. I want to see Spider-Man with the moon Knight armor. How there's no infinity stones. They were destroyed. They'll find a way. Okay. They, <laughs> they will find a way. It's Marvel. Never give up the, on Marvel. Disney magic, baby. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I just I, I'm ready for um, the Midnight Suns because we're gonna have Scarlet Witch. We're gonna have Doctor Strange. We're gonna have Blade because Blade's voice was uh, yeah. See, Gut Score. He time traveled. That's how. Look at that. Gut Score's got it. Booyah. I I mean yes, time travel. But they went into this whole in depth thing about removing Infinity Stones and what it does. I don't know. My son says alternate universe. So there it is. Yeah. And he actually has been studying, which I'm praising him for. Like, mm -hmm. oh, that's my boy. Uh, he's studying <laughs> the Marvel Encyclopedia. I bought him this Marvel, or he got the Marvel Encyclopedia and he's been studying it to the T. Good job, buddy. So he knows about like he knows way more silk. than I do. He knows about uh, you know all the different factions and yeah, it's, it's, sick. it's awesome. But anyway, Marvel is just like an endless, endless thing. Yeah, yeah. yes, yeah. But anyway, cool kid. Uh, I'm excited. Love and Thunder. I can't wait. Um, yeah, more Marvel. I need more Marvel at this point. Is, I know. Is that another uh, opening day one, Joe? Absolutely. I will go see it opening day. I don't know if is you it, want to, but is I it will. is it Taiti Y Y T uh, Taiki Y T T? I believe so. I'm in. Let me um, ask you. Goo. Ragnarok is definitely one of my favorite Marvel yep. movies. Taika Waititi. Taika Waititi. Taika Waititi. Yeah. Taika Waititi. Hmm. Yes, Director. I will. I'm in for it. I love Ragnarok. He is. Awesome director. Yes. So so we have uh the beginning of May with Doctor Strange. Okay. Uh Moon Knight's end, ending it's gonna end up like right right then. But unfortunately I think Moon Knight exists in like the Spider Man realm ish. Because Moon Knight's like he's he's been always been like with like in the Spider Man universe oh, in mean... the comics. <clears throat> gotcha. Um. <laughs> so yeah, so we have we have that at the beginning of May, the end of May we have hello there, we have Obi Wan, which is Star Wars. Yep. And then July is I believe Love and Thunder. So we only have to wait a month. Um, also, I know Doctor Strange is also introducing um, America Chavez. 
With her altered powers? Yes. And also we have the Marvels, the Miss Marvels yep. uh, series, mm-hmm. which is going to introduce, um, you know, Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel. And there are rumors that the Illuminati is going to be in the Doctor Strange movie, which could mean Patrick Stewart as Professor X. Uh, they're saying Tom Cruise might be Iron Man, which I hope to hell not. Um, but Black Bolt might be in there as well. Uh, some other characters uh, that are on the Illuminati. And that could open the doors for... X-Men. So That'd be cool. Because as far as I know, Brie Larson has lost her contract as Miss uh, as Captain Marvel in the Marvel uh, MCU because she's jumped ship and she's now recording for the Fast and Furious. Hmm. You lost her contract because of that? <laughs> Not because of that, but she's she hasn't re- they haven't renewed her contract for Miss uh, for Captain Marvel. Hmm. Those of you that don't know are unaware. Captain Marvel loses her powers because a super heroine takes them from her. Oh, I wonder and who did that. Is probably one of the sexiest super heroines ever. And that's well, sexiest yeah. sugars. Hey, sugar. sugar. That's rogue. I'm not oh, talking yeah, yeah, yeah. the fucking sooky rogue. I'm talking fucking voluptuous, you know. X Men, blah blah, yep. yeah, that rogue. She got that. With the red needs hair an ex- needs an explanation. She got puppies. Howard the Duck. How is he in Marvel? It was the scene after the credits in one of the Marvel movies. He's been, I think, in a couple of end credit scenes. He yeah, has Howard a Duck has always been a Marvel. Has always been Marvel. Yeah. Which I remember watching the Howard the Duck movie back in back in my day. <laughs> Dude, he was kind of yeah. freaky looking back in the, like that Howard the Duck movie. What? He was kind of freaky looking back in that eighties movie Howard the Duck. It was well because it was live action, yeah, and that yeah. was the the was only like, makeup damn. that they had at the time, right? Um, and I think that was like one of one of plenty of of times that I had a huge crush on oh. Leah Thompson because she was so hot. What to touch the honey? So oh, hot, <laughs> so hot. <laughs> If you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. Leah Thompson and Howard the Duck. Woo! With just a t-shirt and panties. Hey. Those panties was hot. <laughs> anyway. Go, uh, go watch Howard the Duck per Joe's recommendation. 1986. Yep. 1986. And uh, also. That was two. Guess who directed the movie? The Star Wars Lord and Savior himself, George Lucas. I thought there was only one Lord, and it was Darth Vader. But well, that's in well, the Star Wars universe. Oh, but gotcha. in like reality, gotcha, gotcha. I'm like George Lucas. You know, is you the have Lord. like you have Got like it. the elders, yeah, yeah, right? You have yeah. like Stan Lee, rest in peace, Stan Lee, and you have George Lucas. You know, you know, I'm going to be a hot mess the day he passes. You know, because it's going to be like, well, Jesus. You know, he he had the Star Wars universe, so yeah, yeah. We have those people that in our generations growing up that generated that universe and created masterpieces how is he the savior though joe i think how uh, is he the savior? actually actually i think favreau's okay. the savior and but, but who are f and f asking for advice mr lucas mr lucas okay thank you <laughs> they're not doing it by themselves they're not just pulling oh wait hold on. i have star wars idea oh no they're not kathleen kennedy Ooh, but, no. I mean, I get it. George, I, I mean, no. you're doing Favreau the right thing. They're getting his input like, for sure. Oh, like, oh, Mr. Lucas. Oh, please. Like, what? What should we do? Like, how do we do this? Fix well, it. You Fix know, it, Mr. You're Lucas. Do it like this. You know? Oh, okay. Yep. You know. <laughs> can we make another uh, another Yoda character? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Thank you, Mr. Lucas. You're the best. Yep. I mean, I still think the sequel trilogy is the best trilogy, but. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> there it is. Made him rage quit. All right. Well, that's gonna wrap up the show. <laughs> uh, fucking a, Joe. Joe, come back. I'm still hey, here. Come back. I just fucking a, man. 
Oh, I mean, shit. you made him mad. Someone followed the rule of making me go Whoa, nuts about I'm Call drunk. of Duty and Battlefield, oh, boy. which was surprising. Hey, oh. No, you can't. You can't just automatically like deem yourself. I'm a Skywalker. You're not a fucking Skywalker. You're a Palpatine. Shut the fuck up. I'm a Skywalker. <laughs> What's my preferred pronoun in Skywalker? <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Okay, Sassy. <laughs> okay, Sassy. Yeah, you're uninvited now. Uh, you he, just wait. He only that... did it. He only did that to light the fire. Oh, oh, oh you just wait. That that's going to come up now. You should come over. Nope, I'm uninvited. It's going to happen. You did this to yourself. You did this to yourself. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, my preferred pronoun is, oh, I'm a Skywalker. Nope. <clears throat> I'll take Miguel's strange tickets, then I'll join you, Joe. Will you actually? No, probably Jackie won't let me, but, you know. No, because no. the whole movie, no, you're no, going to no, be like, no, wait, no, no, I don't no. get it. What happened? Yeah, wait, yeah, yeah. Who's yeah. that? Wait, how, when did this happen? I would wait, never I would wait, never bother you for it. I would, just you figure, I would just figure it out for myself. I wouldn't fucking be like that. Sassy uninvited me. Joe bought my ticket. Therefore, I am not uninvited <laughs> to that. No, I bought the ticket. You have the ticket. You're going. If it, if, it, if it means you're sitting on the opposite end of the five <laughs> from her, that's fine. You well, and I can sit next to each Man, other, so. and she can sit with Tom and Aiden, and that's fine. That's what happened with Spider-Man, so. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't choose that's the seats. So I just got stuck on the end, and she just happened to go all the way to oh, the other man, end. Man, that's funny. Right. My fault. Yeah. Whatever. 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 You guys got anything else before we wrap it up? We've been going for two, two hours. hours, 15 minutes. Well, technically you were late, so it's probably been two exactly hours, two, two hours. hours. Two hours, ten minutes. It was, I was, yeah. oh, okay. I was about six Every minutes Every second late. longer is just getting Chris's wife angrier. Well, actually. Oh, let's do a three hour. Let's go. I went into refill. She was passed like, out on oh, the chair. Right. Look at us. Look at us. What are we doing? Look at us. We're making great things. Let's look at us. Dude, I went inside the house, right, to go get a refill, and this is pretty funny. She's passed out on the chair, and the girls were like, Dad, come check out what I said. They're hiding toys in the cupboards that I have to go and fucking pick out when I get in there. They're hiding toys, and they're like, look it. They're all nope, keeping themselves them busy. There. Leave them in there. If she fell asleep. It's her problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's kind of cute, so. Uh, Let's go, uh, yeah, go ahead. Miguel. Usual length. Do you want to know the usual length? Well, Joe, I, I, I don't know if I want to answer that question. Answer the question. <laughs> Um, long enough. No, usually it's hour, hour and a half for the podcast. Yeah, yeah, we tried it for the audio listeners. If, but again, we have a lot of audio listeners that yeah. download the podcast and yeah. listen to us while they're at work to help their day go by. So I get I get messages when I fuck up and I like skip a day or two. I remember like John, Jason, a bunch of the guys would like. Tell Chris to hurry up and fucking post it out. Even Brian would be like, I want to fucking listen to it on my... So I've been trying to like yeah. do it like tonight after this. I'm going to get it out so that the audio listeners will be satisfied with, yeah. with listening out. to the stuff. Yeah, I'll whip it out. Yeah. So it varies between 45 minutes and two hours usually. Sometimes two and a half hours. Yeah. Today is a two and a half hour kind of day. Yeah. Yep. We're having fun. So why why end it, you know? No, we're not we don't have to end it right now either. It's, it's just... we got good content and we're just gonna keep it going. This is like like I said before, this is the first time that we've actually had this many listeners and uh, actually uh action in our chat in Twitch. So you know it's exciting. I'm I'm surprised. Where is Risky Grenades? She has not chimed in. And lately she's been more regular than Monkey, sorry, monkey, but she has been. We love you, monkey. Because monkey's still watching uh, Mrs. G's crafties. Yeah, according to Twitch. Well, so, well, I, so I was, I totally guessed when I said that earlier. Oh, uh, weird Mexican noises. Thank you for chiming in and welcome. You got, uh, at the at the fair. At the she's fair. at the fair. She's at the fair. Okay. To be fair. Hi, Cora. All right, we'll give I her dare a. Dare her go to the. To fair. be fair. <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> to be fair. To be fair, she's at the fair. How dare her go to the fair? They Hi, Cora. How Tucson? are you? <laughs> hey, Cora. They have fairs in Tucson. Apparently. I, I didn't so. even know that was a thing. Interesting. Oh, uh, who was it? Someone was saying there. Was it Risky saying who was going to be at the fair 
in Tucson or Phoenix. I don't remember. Yeah. Never mind. I don't remember. I don't want to go there to the fair something. in Phoenix. That's well, rough. I think you got score. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you appreciate the show. Uh, we try to cover everything. It's not just about video games, but we're open for anything. That's why in the ch- chat, we like... Uh, it's uh, definitely easier when there's interaction. Yeah. Like, agree. We ask conversation. Exactly. What do you want us to talk about? Like, just throw it out there. We'll, we'll pause what we had the agenda for and we'll say, okay, look. Yeah. And there, and with there's... the exception of, of today's example for yeah. PAX, with the exception of that, because <laughs> PAX is not really, in my opinion, it's not a legit conference. Um, but. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not E3. It's kind of like the scraps of E3 is what PAX is, and in my opinion too, it's like there's there are there are some little notes that come out on PAX that are like that they haven't released to any other expo, but there's not a whole lot of that. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not a whole lot of Lucky. that. I'm likely gonna get this incredibly wrong. Is that fucking Charlotte's Web? Affair is a veritable smorgasbord, orgus board, orgus board after the crowds have ceased each night. When it's a the song lights go from out. Charlotte's yeah. Web. Yeah. I thought so. Yeah, it was the it was the rat, you know? <laughs> it was the I, rat. I thought yeah, it yeah. was, but I haven't seen it in so long. Oh my god. So Joe, I, I read it and I'm like, it. is that Charlotte Charlotte's Web Web? Ugh, fuck. Too many beers. Um gotcha. Yeah. Thank you for that monkey, because it brought back Templeton. 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 Oh, God, Look, there monkey. It is. Just nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we try to cover everything, anything, mm-hmm. you know, geek, nerd, related, whatever. Uh, sometimes we cover sports, sometimes we don't. My um, sports Joe means football. Yeah. Football. We're, we're football guys. Well, because Miguel doesn't watch hockey. Prodigy doesn't watch hockey. I used to be an avid fan of hockey. I haven't watched it in a, a long time. I, um, yeah. Uh, so I'm I'm down to like get into hockey again and watch it because I am I I've, obviously I'm an Arizona fan, so I want to see how the Yotes are doing, the Coyotes and stuff. So I don't care. I'm an Arizona fan. I, I know you're a Duck fan, Anaheim, but it would be good to like watch some fucking hockey. That's right, together. monkey. Fucking flying V, the ducks. I so, love the ducks. Yeah. I will go to my grave loving the ducks. And I'll go to my kings. I'll go to my grave loving all of Arizona, it. man. So I'll fucking bow out for those conversations and monkey can jump in because Yeah, I don't Yeah. I don't and watch I, anything. Fuck the ducks. Fuck, fuck the ducks, the monkey. Ducks. Right, monkey. Yes, I'm watching, I get it. Right. I'm watching the How about playoffs those golden right knights? Monkey, do you like the golden knights too? Because I had I so many it. friends that have actually uh uh, Thank you, monkey. Jumped over from yeah, the Kings to the Golden Knights. So, how you like them Golden Knights, the Vegas Knights? Whoa. Alexa, stop! Alexa is going <laughs> off. <laughs> what, what is she doing, dude? That's some weird shit right there. They're fucking listening to you, bro. Dude, she's playing Monkey's song. Can you hear it? Oh my That's god! That's phasmophobia right there. Can you guys hear it? Yeah, I can hear it. That's trippy, dude. That's monkey song. What the fuck? That's weird, man. Some weird yeah, shit. Yeah, monkey likes the kraken. Yeah, we do. There are some things that we don't talk about on the show too, like like if there's some create like politics and shit that's going on in the world we use we use this show to get away from all that bullshit we use this show to bring people back to normalcy back to the video games and the fun we don't want to talk about that other shit that we already know about so and we don't want to talk about the real world exactly man it's when you get what is it eight crazy people in one household together what Mm. do you get you get the real world (laughs) yeah right oh my god you went back to that mtv shit (laughs) <laughs> Back in my day, <laughs> MTV played music videos. <laughs> anyway, the Everett Silver Tip uh, is that Silver? Is that a hockey team? Cora, allegedly. Everett Silver Tips. You know, I used to have um, Long Beach Ice Dogs uh, jerseys too. Um, yeah, it was an international hockey or like WHL. A, a, it was a sub league for NHL. It was IHL, I think it was called. 
But uh, I used to love the Long Beach Ice Dogs. But anyway. WHL is that Women's Hockey League? Is that what that is? That's, oh. That's what I was thinking it would be, too. Um, Monkey, I just want you to know that um, your song just played for no reason and scared the shit out of me. So She's listening. Fucking. Yeah, she is. Alexa. I no, haven't, I haven't we, plugged mine back You here. stop listening to me. You stop. No, the weird thing is there's a, one right there there yeah. in front of me mm-hmm. and the one that heard me is in my fucking living room well, there, which is, that's super creepy that's yeah weird. demonic's playing phasmophobia in real life yeah he is no you stop it <laughs> He's gonna, you stop. need to be like you need to be like the ghost adventures guys <gasps> oh my god dude oh my god <laughs> oh, did you hear that dude oh my god dude something just touched me dude oh shit yeah. we should re recreate that shit that would be so much fucking fun dude can't stand those guys it's i mean i watch awesome. them religiously but i can't like there's a point where it's like enough <laughs> yeah. nope nope none of that shit's coming in my house monkey no spirit boxes no emf readers nope. yeah that shit can stay out i will go get my holy water and yeah bless my house i agree fuck no right off. no ouija boards fuck ouija boards and any of that shit nope get some sage and some palo santo burn it burn that motherfucker <laughs> dude Fuck that shit. We get it. Demonic's name is Demonic, but we don't want none of that. Yeah, but it's Demonic because it was the game that was created in Grandma's Boy. Yeah, that's his origin. Yep. And that's why all the sound alerts are Grandma's Boy when I don't try. Mm -hmm. When I don't attempt to get rid of half of them because Monkey spams them. What was that uh, pop-up video on BH1? Pop-up video. You know, watching the podcast and we have a little bubble that goes demonic's name or we could be like today listen did you know demonic's name is actually after the game in grandma's boy now you do now you do where's that <laughs> remove friend nope nope remove from group got it oh my god oh my god uh, oh monkey demonic and monkey both hate that listen shit from tiktok if you don't know it's a Oh shit! No damage. Uh, it's a guy on TikTok as Justin uh, Huns- Hunsley or something like that. Hunley, mm-hmm. but he's the one that goes. Listen, did you know? Blah 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 blah. No, blah, blah. Yeah. it's now the one doing... that interrupts a video and says, "Right, Luke. it's a video of like some scantily clad women is like in provocative positions, and he's like, you seriously gonna have you know watch this video or it cuts and it's like, listen, did you know? Blah blah. Yeah." Anyway. Joe, did you see the one where he popped up and he's like, listen, what would Jesus say if you were here right now? And some other guy pops up. And he's like, I'm a Jew. Yeah. How do I get the video back? How do I get the, the, the yep. lady back? Yep. So, no, he's not awesome. He's yep. annoying. Yeah. Monkey does not <laughs> like him. Demonic does not like him. I'm actually interested in maybe buying a sweater so I can wear it during the podcast. Oh my like, god, just a troll! Listen, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's fine. I don't. I don't stare at your chest that much. <laughs> but everyone else, only does. every once in a while. My moobs, man. <laughs> I got my moobs going. You're wearing moobs black. Going. It makes them smaller. <laughs> I know. That's why I wear black all the time. Oh shit, that's funny. <laughs> god damn! <laughs> Holy fuck! But yeah. Time for the tank. It's tanks off season, Joe. <laughs> Ooh, we can't. We can't wall call them white beaters anymore. No, we can't. That's not a thing anymore. Just like since when? Who said so? Uh, society. Pretty, Cancel culture. I'm can't pre- call them yeah. wife beaters. You can't call them wife beaters. You can't call dykes a pair of dykes. Dykes, like Joe said in a few. No, you have to call them diagonal cutters. Now. Diagonal you can't cutters. Say, have me a pair of dykes. They're like. <laughs> Are you sure you want me to hand you a pair of dogs? Yeah, yes. Anyway. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. You can't call the fucking master bedroom a master bedroom anymore. You can't call a transmission a tranny anymore. No, you can't. You sure can't. I, I tried that one on the show. It didn't work out I feel out like Chris well. is making shit up with this master no, bedroom. No, look it up. Shit. That is a fucking real one, too. We had a, 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 a real estate agent. Um, It was... It was uh, Ann and Harvey's real estate agent, they were looking at the house and then they were like, oh, this is the master bedroom. And he's like, well, actually, you can't call it the master bedroom anymore. And he fucking, I forgot. Why? You have to call it like an ensuite or something yes, like that. Yes, yes. It's because Why? because master yeah. 
is back in the day they had masters and it was the the master's bedroom and you slave time it's stupid it's fucking retarded but that's legitimate wow. dude it's cancel culture is getting ridiculous so sh- oh yeah we should be quiet we love everybody and we're inclusive we're everybody we're yeah I mean, you made it more can we, awkward can we cue? by saying it. I did. It. Thanks, I did. Sorry. Can we can we cue the Reading Rainbow song now? Reading Rainbow. I'll put that in on the audio Butterflies one. Butterflies. Yeah, I'll put that in the audio for sure. I, I love can that. go twice as high. <laughs> Just take a look. Take a look. It's, it's in a book. book. It's Reading, reading Rainbow. Rainbow. I can read anything. Sing okay. it. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I don't know yeah. how much of that that captured, but uh, there you go. Oh my god. There heavens. you go. We can just put on a show, boys. Let's do it. We should, yeah. Let's do it. <sighs> Anything yeah, else like... before we shut down this shit show? Yeah. We just got another one that's popped in. What's up? Number 11. Probably a bot. What? Number 11? I don't know. I just see viewers pop in, in and out. The number go oh, up and down. Well, welcome, whoever, whoever, comment, please follow. Please, we, we are yes. Well, yes. According to our chart, it says that we are forty-seven. We are three away. We from getting. Please follow the check mark. So, yeah, yo. Then we can start adding fancy shit and. Make was it. that the new lullaby? Sessie Ces- says, was that the new lullaby? Do you uh, not know the Reading that... Rainbow song? It's like next time you get that TikTok, you're going to have to send it her way. Yeah. Butterfly in the sky. Well, are we going to do it again? No. Actually, <laughs> if you follow my stream, that is one of my sound alerts. Yes, it is. I like Reading Rainbow. and I, 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 only care, I only care about one sound alert in your stream. Thank you. Oh, the Kenobi! Kenobi! Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. That's the one. And I like yes. the, I and, like and the ESPN. And what's cool one. is now that we know Bad Monkey, Monkey, there is one less degree or several degrees of separation between us and LeVar Burton. Yeah, thank you, Monkey. Ooh-woo! Um, because Monkey was... Uh, like maybe had one degree or zero degrees of separation between himself and LeVar Burton. So yes, technically we would have two degrees of separation. Wow. That's to get this man another shot. You guys. Yeah. Dude, I got the Hurry bottle up. right here. Take a swig, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, shit. I'm just going to stop. A- <laughs> I'm going to stop asking her to bring you drinks. Cause you just, you bagarred it apparently when, uh, when it's there, Sassy, get Joe a beat, get Joe a drink. It's right here. Yeah, he Sassy, canceled get him a Sassy. Shot. I got the bottle right here. We just shut her down, shutting down the drink. You you begottled her. Would you? So think? here, like in the chat, Monkey said he was my mom's collage um, roommate. I know he meant college, but <laughs> collage. yes, it's, he spelled it collage. It. So yeah, he was my mom's college roommate. So yeah, there it is. You know. Monkey's mom. Hey, hey, you got stuff oh. in the fridge. Joining the party. <laughs> oh, hey, we one We're gonna get banned from Twitch. I gotta be at a wedding at six o'clock, so I should stay. Yeah, you need to at go six to bed. o'clock. At six p.m. You'll be fine. Wait, she has to. She has to be there at six a.m. Yeah, in town. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Butterflies in the sky. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, holy shit! Yeah. So monkey says he has the the tweet, the DM tweet that uh, Lavar Burton said that his that monkey's mom is hot. So monkey. Um, okay. If Lavar Burton says your mom is hot, do you have any pictures of your mom? We're going here now. This is rando. Hey, monkey. Just ask. Well, yeah, that's what, what we you... were rolling. We didn't have a main topic this week, so we were just rolling with rando, and we're we're chatting with the people in no, chat. No, I get it. It's solid, so... but is he... I don't think he's going to post a picture in chat, Joe. No, 
Ow, man. <laughs> no, there's a Discord. Don't. Phones. I don't. I don't think Monkey will send his mom to your phone whatsoever, Joe. I'll just stalk him on Facebook. <laughs> oh, she looks You're... like you without the beard. You don't oh. know Monkey's no shame level. This is true. I mean, I don't. He might just send it right over to all three of us, and we'll be like, "Dink." Oh, I mean, yeah. it might be the tequila talking, but Monkey's a handsome fella. He's a handsome fella. For all you ladies out there that don't know, Bad Monkey's pretty handsome. Yeah, I mean, but anyway, I would hit him up. Five 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 Monkey, give him a call. You would hit him up? No, I said I said you should hit him up. Oh, five five five. I should hit him up. No, I don't have to no, hit no, him up. I'm talking I got to him. I'm talking like, to our. I got him on chat. Joey, I got him on Joey, the phone. Joey, Joey, like, I got my contact. We, we have an audience. I was talking to the audience. Oh, five I five you were five. To me, Monkey. Give him a call. Monkey. How rude. We got an audience, Joe. I'm talking to the audience. <laughs> Come on now. Hey. Oh god, this is this is going to a weird place very quickly. It is. It's getting weird. Oh, damn. He does look like a great snuggler, doesn't he? <laughs> like a big old teddy bear. Teddy bear. Actually a monkey. A, a big, big monkey teddy bear. Whatever. Yep. A monkey bear. <laughs> anyway, um, getting back to it, uh, where were we? I, I think we were asking anybody Drinking else more beer. Apparently, yeah. Anybody this else? Isn't beer. More... This is like water. You did that to yourself. That's your own punishment. Hey, I, I, I was, I was expanding. I was like, okay, uh, Dos Equus has like ranch water. I want to try it because, uh, Topo Chico obviously makes the better ranch water because it's titty bear. Topo Chico, but uh, beer instead of seltzer water. Yeah, but yeah. beer makes you fat. Beer makes you beer fat. makes you fat. I thought it was bread. Yeah. Well, bread makes you fat too. Thank you, Scott Pilgrim. Thank you, Scott Pilgrim. <clears throat> but uh, to, it's a known fact that IPAs give you movies. Mub- yes, boobies. Yes, they do. I right, lo- as, I lo- I had prodigy. I had some. I'm losing. They're gone. They're almost gone. You got a reduction. I did. I got a reduction just by losing weight and VR. VR. I lost my man boobs during VR when I was playing. You know, They're playing contractors. Contractors, Beat Saber. You know all the good stuff. Yeah, VR is a good thing. It, it actually. I That's to what she be said. honest, it, if you're active in it, it's you can definitely uh, lose some weight in it for sure. Yeah, Pornhub's on VR too, isn't it? Yeah, and it's amazing. You can lose a lot of weight like that or gain a little bit extra muscle in your right or left arm, depending on... What... Get some Popeye arms. Yeah, yeah. you know. Uh, now it's time for that one. That's what she said, but... <laughs> there it is. I need to get me some spinach. It's going into a dark place, people. Please help us. <laughs> no, I don't need your help. This is true. It, it'll, yeah. get, it'll get bad. Yeah, like, like I said, we're one follower... or Excuse me, three followers away from... Getting the check mark, getting verified. So there's ten of you all here. Yeah, just hit the follow. Just do it. Just do it because you love just, us. Just follow, please. They're already following. I know. We do. Are. We do it every Friday. I mean, this Tell is your probably like the longest one that we've done so far. Call your on grandma. Friday. Yeah. Just hide your kids. Hide your wife. Tell them to follow console drones. They, they follow uh, everybody out here. <laughs> yeah. You so. know. Fantastic. Do you guys have anything else? I should probably wrap it up before I get stabbed in the back by my wife. So if it hasn't happened already. Um go follow. Oh, that's a nice clip, Joe. Uh go follow each of us on our personal pages if you don't mind. Um links here. What's a nice clip? And thank you. Uh it's a clip of you fucking doing reading entrances. Oh, a WWE? Ew. Yeah. It's just a fucking video of your character just entering the ring in different motions each time. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I have no control of the clips that play. So you, you might want to go in and delete that clip because it's <laughs> pointless. Um, but at least you have a clip. I don't. So my so, clips are here. Oh, I, that, that I was a bad I have not been I following uh, wrestling. I uh, have not in a long time. Yeah, but thanks to WWE uh, or 2K22. Yeah, I'm starting to get back into it, and um, yeah, I now got TikToks where there's a possible rumor that Chris Benoit's son, whose name is David 
Chris Benoit. Oh, wow. Um, is actually talking about picking up his, um, picking up his, his father's name and continuing as really? Chris Benoit Jr. I, I was hoping uh, that's awesome. Yes. Uh, those of you that don't know, Chris Benoit was one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. I don't think they try to blame the concussion protocol of why he killed he's his framed. wife. And he was his framed. kid. He's framed. I, I think he's framed. Yep. I think WWE is party of it. I yep. think Vince McMahon was part of it. Anyway, uh, tell me to wear my foil hat, whatever. But he was on the top and then all of a sudden he died or he committed suicide. But anyway, Chris Benoit is one of my favorite technical wrestlers. He's, if not the greatest technical wrestler of all time. I think he surpassed Bret Hart, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I'm interested. I'm hoping that his son be comes sweet. back as Chris Benoit Jr. to honor his dad's name and just as a, as a great wrestler. Um, I, I would get back into it. He, and not only that, the only reason why we watched a lot of WWE wrestling and the TNA wrestling is because we enjoy the women wrestlers. They're great athletes. They're at the peak of their physical performance. I like all these words you chose. I love them. Um, Rhea Ripley is like probably one of the greatest right now. Professionals. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, professional. She's very professional. There's also Nikita. <laughs> I think I don't remember what her last name was, but yes, she is um, very skilled. Very, very skilled. And I enjoy the technicality and the sport of professional wrestling um, when when they're in the ring, so yeah, keep it up. I, I um, agree, Joe. Hundred percent. I, I need a I need a thirsty sound alert on here. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna leave it at that yeah, because solid. I like interpret it. it how you will, but that's what came out of my mouth. Perfect. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, make sure you guys check out my stream tomorrow morning. I will be streaming. Uh, uh, game number two so i'd like to see some fans there i won't be able to talk to you but i know it's early pop in later check it out whatever follow do all that good stuff yeah it's gonna be it, fun kylia did say she followed so hell yeah thank, thank you, you guys kylia. thank you kylia thank you heck yeah thank you spread the word all right i think we're close to done uh yeah. if you're in the stream hang around we're gonna we're gonna raid but go ahead chris do your thing all right, this is Chris. I'm going to go see what my my wife's doing and my kids are doing, probably tying her up while she's asleep. I am out. Peace. This is Demonic. I'm going to go give my dogs some attention, probably, because they've been behaving today. Mm, I'm out. That's Peace. good. Yes, yeah, Deuce. I'm probably going to get something to eat. Uh, I'm not going to finish this bottle, I promise. Um, <laughs> maybe play some video games? I don't know. We'll see. Game on, guys. Game on. Game on. This concludes another Cultural Drones Gamer Talk podcast. Season 3, Biatch. <laughs> Now let's get out of here and destroy this whole universe. I can feel you torching me.